the Ministry of Timelines bears no official responsibility for the content of this research. We record the Belbos timeline to have diverged 4,300 years before the present day. Contamination of this timeline makes it difficult to determine if prior divergence also occurred, but the Ministry continues to investigate this possibility. This record has been compiled from contemporary sources extracted directly from the timeline, though it does include some assumptions on the part of the Ministry. At the end of the Second World War, the human race began a program of prolific nuclear weapons tests. The impact of a nuclear detonation is detectable from light years away. Unfortunately, in this case, they were observed by a power whose rigidity was the only force delaying the inevitable for humanity. Had the human race known, they might have spent their time very, very differently. As the 21st century marched onwards, the Earth matured into a modern, stable world. The human race began to fix the problems of their past. War, disease, climate change. As the people of Earth finally began to cooperate and reason, as humanity built for a common future, they arrived. On October 3rd, 2052, alien vessels entered low Earth orbit without warning. They loomed high above the world for 30 days, silently. The ships ignored every communication attempt made by the people below. Then, without warning, on the 31st day after their arrival, they began to broadcast. They called out on every frequency and used every language. Their message was clear. Welcome. After your long night in the dark, we are here. You are our wayward sheep. You are our children. Welcome. The response from Earth was mixed. Some celebrated, some were terrified. There were parties and there were riots. A hasty session of the United Nations was called. The human race welcomed the aliens down to the surface of their world. Due to the haste of the reception, most world leaders were unable to attend. They ended up being very thankful for that. The official first contact was an unmitigated catastrophe. Contemporary evidence clearly shows that the aliens assassinated the Secretary General within minutes of their arrival, apparently due to a perceived slight, daring to speak out of turn. Casualties were minimal, but did include a large proportion of the diplomats of Earth. Their deaths were broadcast live to the planet. And this footage remains the foundation of our understanding of this event. You are our children, but rudeness will not be tolerated. Let these humans be an example. Do not interrupt your parents. They went on to claim that humanity would be dragged, kicking and screaming out of their nuclear crisis. They would not be allowed to destroy themselves. They would be taught proper manners and etiquette they would grow up. The governments of Earth did not take too kindly to the perceived alien aggression. Most nations made formal declarations of war within minutes of the assassination of the Secretary General. A smaller number of those nations fired their entire nuclear arsenal at the aliens above. Intercontinental ballistic missiles cut arcs into the sky as the planet held its breath. Unfortunately for humanity, their full nuclear response had little effect on the alien ships in orbit. The alien point defense lasers knocked every missile out of the sky with ease, long before they posed any danger of detonating close to an alien ship. It was a turkey shoot. There was one exception to this. A stray missile managed to collide with an alien troop transport above the historically named Sweden. The nuclear explosion caused the main energy reactor of the ship to detonate. This wiped out all life within a few hundred kilometers and blanketed the entire peninsula in radioactive fallout. The eagle-eyed among you may have realized that I am referring to the Desolus, an area that remained uninhabitable for generations afterwards. 
Across the rest of the planet, alien ground forces disembarked and attacked any humans that actively resisted occupation. Apart from the one Pyrrhic victory above the Desolus, the Earth's defenders were totally unsuccessful in repulsing the aliens. Even a single alien soldier, armed and wreathed in a protective force field, proved untouchable. Imagine, if you can, the feelings of those early human soldiers, tucked tightly into their metal tanks, firing cannon, that is, kinetic projectiles propelled by use of chemical explosives, at distant alien targets. You are confident in the power and supremacy of your technology, expectant that after the smoke clears from your assault, you will have vanquished the enemy, a lone alien soldier. But then, when visual contact returns, the alien looks entirely unperturbed and unharmed. You level shot after shot, having no effect. And when you, trapped in your metal box, your metal tomb, finally gained its attention, you would have mere moments before the alien would stab out with ungodly weapons of fire and light, blasting you into atoms. This engagement scenario was repeated over and over across the world, on land, at sea, and in the air. Every time human forces engaged the aliens, they failed to do anything except destroy the world around them and inflict horrific civilian casualties. There are innumerable surviving records that align with this account of the invasion. One by one, the human governments of the world surrendered or collapsed to the encroaching alien forces. Those that did not fight, that respected their elders, were left entirely alone and unmolested. They began to try and pick up the pieces. Hundreds of millions died from starvation, disease, and a lack of proper sanitation. Though the aliens were judicious in their use of force, they were not cruel or sadistic. Those areas that were destroyed by human weaponry and now fell under alien occupation were rebuilt. The people living there were provided emergency food and shelter. If you did not strike against the aliens or behave rudely, it turned out you had nothing to fear from them. By the end of the year 2052, no human nation remained. There were still pockets of resistance, of course. Those that did not die in the initial conflict fled deep into mountains, jungles and forests, supported by the dying embers of human civilization and their militaries. From here they began a campaign of resistance against the invaders. Over time, this loosely organized militia became publicly known as the Anti-Alien Front. The AAF carried out constant attacks and harassment against the occupation and its infrastructure. Under the ever-watchful eye of the aliens, the humans living under alien occupation formed new governments and political structures. Alien legal customs were enforced careful not to lose their power and always prepared for new opportunities, leaders of industry and commerce managed to hold on to their wealth and status. The richest of the old world not only retained their power, but by ingratiating themselves with the aliens, they began to expand and cement it. For who else would the world turn to when the aliens requested that Earth begin to industrialize and export new alien goods? From the surviving political class of old Earth, and these titans of industry, a new aristocratic elite emerged. By 2066, the AAF had become more and more successful at disrupting human life and human operations. To clarify, the only noticeable effect the AAF had was killing innocent human civilians and disrupting human life. This was an unexpected boon that the alien propagandists exploited relentlessly. Alien technology still proved unassailable to human attacks. Their garrisons, set up in the name of protecting human freedoms, were totally untouched by the AAF aggression. In response, and under strict instruction by their alien overlords, the collaborative governments of Earth set up the Peace Corps, a human secret police force armed and instructed by the aliens to root out, arrest, and disarm the AAF. With public opinion rapidly turning against the AAF, the Peace Corps succeeded in their mission within the span of a few years. 
This left the collaborative governments as the only expression of human civilization on Earth. Mere decades after the aliens' arrival, Earth had crystallized into a new world. To streamline human-alien relations and follow strict alien protocols, a human was appointed to provide a direct link between the alien civilization, the hegemony of Belbos, and the myriad governments of Earth. This is the officially recognized start of the Sol Satrapy. Crowned as Satrap in 2084, Martina Ardiles, an Argentinian native, reigned as military governor of the entire human race. She answered to none but her alien overlords. As the years passed, people forgot. Education was rigidly controlled and prescribed by the aliens. Through education, social programs, and a network of indoctrination protocols, human children were quickly introduced to alien technology, culture, and ideas. The human place in the great familial web of the hegemony was taught and believed. For the humans, along with other satrap races, were the lost children of Belbos. According to the hegemony, the threads of their stories weaved into a great tapestry stretching back millennia. Within a single generation, the culture and technology gap was closed. It is essential to note at this time that hegemony society was held together by a set of texts that, to an external observer, would seem to hold a significance bordering on the religious. These documents acted as a philosophical guide, a legal framework for the hegemony, and a strict schedule for the future of the entire civilization. The closest translation we have for a title to these works was the elucidated reference primer, Dominion System, of antecedent, proper polite originators. But away from Belbos, it was more commonly referred to as the Parent Protocols. By 2088, after rebuilding human society under the direction of the Parent Protocols, the industrial base of Earth was fully turned over to the making of weapons and the construction of warships all of which were alien in design, but their intricacies and workings were now understood by humans. In 2104, conscription was enforced by the satrap. All human adults would serve a term of no less than five years in the imperial military. Humans were taken, used to fill armies and crew warships, as pilots and frontline soldiers, for they were part of the great family of the hegemony and they had their place in the hierarchy, their role to fulfill. Used as shock troops across the empire, human soldiers put down rebellions and settled border disputes on unknown worlds with unknown peoples. They were model soldiers in the imperial military. On Earth, every victory, no matter how small, was celebrated and held up as further proof of humanity's destiny as the bulwark of Belbos. However, Behind closed doors, there were some who did not forget old Earth. They remembered the true history and the disparate ideals of their ancestors, not the whitewashed alien ideas force-fed at the whim of their alien overlords. Whilst our research indicates that these individuals were not organized into networks, it is believed that those most likely to harbor anti-hegemony ideas were those with links to the AAF. Finally, in 2178, human officers were given the command of an entire alien armada. They were tasked with welcoming a newly discovered alien race into the imperial fold. By finally accepting their place in the hegemony and following the dogma of the parent protocols, humanity invaded their first alien world. Humanity's fleet waited for 30 days above the planet. On the 31st day, after not receiving the proper response from the terrified natives, they descended onto the unprepared planet. Humans strutted across the surface of this world. Armed with alien weapons and wreathed in alien force fields, they were untouchable. Quickly, they brought its population to heal, only killing those that attacked them or refused to obey the niceties of the protocols. To the officers of the fleet, they realized that they had become the fist of oppression, though the rank and file serving in those armies called it a mercy. They believed they were bringing the gift of civilization to the indigenous. 
As the 22nd century drew to a close, events were unfolding on the distant imperial capital that would have seismic implications for the people of Earth. Upon the rise of the 51st Emperor Shaddam VI, they were bequeathed new freedoms, counter to the strict dogma of the Protocols. All of the satrapies were, hundreds of years before the proper preordained time. As the throne moved counter to the protocol, the hegemony became mired in political infighting and a tumultuous succession crisis. And so it was that the satrapies experienced their first taste of freedom and self-determination. Would the people of Earth regain their liberty or would the hegemony reign supreme? This concludes our analysis of the pre-explorative age for humanity in this timeline. Please refer to the next chapter of this report for further details on the Belbos timeline. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the first Stellaris Timelines multiplayer event, multiplayer session. You may have noticed that I look slightly different today than the last time you saw me. Um, and uh, yes, that's because you're now seeing me uh, through a better camera. We have changed the camera a little bit. Uh, and today I will be playing as, uh, well, we'll be playing as the Sol Military Satrapy. So let's have a quick dive into uh, what the Sol Military Satrapy actually is. Because, well, you've just heard all about their backstory. You've just heard everything that's happened to us. Because uh, you are of all, of course, uh, members of the court of the Satrap. Welcome to the court. It's a fantastic place to be. Uh, but <clears throat> we are the human race, but not quite as you might know them. We have, of course, been subjugated by Belbos, by a foreign power. And that's why we are playing with the Imperial Thief Origin. Earth is the same as you know it. Humans are, generally speaking, genetically the same as you've known them before. However, when we look at our socio-political organization, then things have changed just a bit. We have uh, aristocratic elite, that is, your very good selves, the court of the satraps. And uh, that basically is, uh, as you've seen from the previous video, that is representing the old political class, the old, uh, the old billionaire class, the old uh, you know, commercial class. They have fermented their position as a new uh, aristocratic, um, basically, uh, what's the word I want to use here? I've suddenly forgotten the word. Basically an overlord class. We also have the Peace Corps, which are represented by our police state. A fantastic institution designed right along the lines of the parent protocols, praise Bell Boss. And uh, yeah, that's, um, that's going to all work perfectly. We live in a perfectly lovely functioning society. Technically a military junta, but you know we'll, we'll get over it. Um, yes, one might call them oligarchs, nobility. Thank you, that's the word. Um, feudal lords. We are xenophilic. I mean, no amount of invasion by aliens could completely wipe out, um, wipe out our, uh, wipe out our love for for foreign and alien concepts. But we are now not egalitarian. We are instead militarist and materialist. All right. So that is what we're going to be facing. And I'm going to bring in now somebody briefly to have a chat with us. By the way, I want to say a big thank you, Joey, for the support. Welcome to the executive class. Um, welcome to the satrapy. But yeah, DJ, if you could jump in momentarily and say hello, if I can find him. Hello. Let me just check that the audience at home can hear you because they should be able to hear you. Audience at home, try again now. Audience, try again now, DJ. They should be able to hear you this time no they're saying nothing one second yeah yeah bear with me bear with me um f got this me. should work this will work the, a the aaf had my the AAF for a moment. did in fact get me briefly but it's okay <laughs> our brave boys from the navy they saved me it's fine it's fine um admiral montu reported for duty AAF. Uh, hi there. Um, so, hello everybody. Thank you for coming along to this. Um, this is exciting, huh, Monto? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's exciting stuff. Um, we uh, DJ and I have both been organising this series together. I need to say a big thank you to him for for everything. And on that note, actually, it's time to crack one open. Cheers, sir. Um, Cheers, sir. Mm. 
delicious. But we've got a lot planned. And uh, yeah, we're going to see if it unfolds. We're going to see what happens uh, in the game. Because of course, there's going to be a lot of audience participation and interaction. You folks watching live at home, we're going to have polls. We're going to have um, all sorts of lovely, lovely things like that that allow you to take part. On top of that as well, do not forget... When anything happens in the game, there is a link down in the description where you can record the event that happened in-game. These events that get recorded by you, the audience, and this will be, the live stream will stay up. So even if you're watching not live, you can still say, well, I think this happened at this date and it was very interesting. They can be anything from, you know, an election is completed, a planet is invaded, to something that you might have possibly made up. What am I drinking? I'm being asked at home. It's a, 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 an Albani Mosaic IPA, apparently. Um, there you go. Yeah, there you are. Also, I'll be posting a link to the Discord at the very end. If you do post, if you do uh, contribute any um, events, anything to our event database, there's a through the Google form. If you give your Discord ID and you're on the MontuPlays Discord community, you'll get the very special, um, very lovely, one of a kind archivist role in perpetuity for your contribution. So. Make sure to be record history and become an archivist, I suppose, DJ? Absolutely. Um, and that, that really is something where you guys can really help us out, not going to lie, um, because the more information in there, the less we're going to have to pour over this VOD uh, in order to make sure that we get all of the details correct for the upcoming video. Which does remind me, I should record this VOD in case we get a connection issue, and I've now pressed record. I'm very sensible and smart. Um, yes. Excellent. Well done. Yes. <laughs> uh, so... Um, the reason I'm here and the reason that, that Montu's uh, brought me into voice uh, as well is to briefly explain to everybody my role in proceedings. Uh, I am going to be your GM for these sessions, um, which means that basically I get final say on things happening or not happening. Um, for the most part, I will be staying as far away from the gameplay as humanly possible. Um, because I don't really want to impact upon the actual gameplay. I want to let all of that happen naturally. However, there is obviously uh, a tale that we will be uh, allowing to unfold. Um, we have an awful lot of uh, things that will trigger certain information being released. Uh, all of that sort of stuff. There's surprises to come. Um, and so that's my role here. And occasionally you may hear me jump into voice and deliver some information to Montu or tell him he's not allowed to do something or something along those lines. Which you like, should riot against, chat. As soon as DJ says not allowed, that is your cue to riot, just, just so Absolutely. we all know. Absolutely. Um, completely, yeah. No, uh, to be perfectly honest, I doubt that will happen. Um, but we do have it there as a safe check in case something happens that is really against uh, the, the, the sort of overall narrative we're trying to create. Yeah, um, and then kind of the format. So the format's going to be happening. We're going to be having a session. This is the first session um, of many TM or, you know, some TM. And now we're going to be going uh, a live session. This is the first one. We've currently organized three more following this. We might have a fifth one. It does depend on the way the narrative goes. You know, we, we are prepared, I promise. And then about two weeks after this live stream, uh, similar to the video that you saw that opened up this live stream, which was kind of the uh, the backstory, the, the invasion of Earth, all of all of that sort of stuff, we'll have uh, a recorded history and a narrative presented in that style on the events that have unfolded in the stream based on what you lovely people at home have submitted on the Google form. And it's not just me that's live streaming as well. You can watch ASPEC and EP3O, and you can also submit events for their empires as well, okay? Let's go... In the beginning, we are just going to be, um, we're, we're basically, we want to weave it all into the lovely narrative we'll be having. We only have one mod today. Ignore the flag that you see here for the sole military satrapy. I've just realized I've, I've shown you the wrong flag. You've shown, um, yeah, it's the, I, I flag. I don't know why well. that is. Yep. Yeah, that's gross. I, yep. Sorry. That's Sorry. I, 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 I will now fall on my sword. I, this, the flag disgraces me. It disgraces my ancestors. And I, I apologize. Um, it's AAF propaganda. We've been hacked. It must be. This is this is clear sign that the AAF really does need stamping out once and for all. Yep. The Peace yeah, Corps right. are under-equipped and underfunded to deal with it. Um, no, so there is one mod we're playing with. That is Thy Fine Banner. That allows you to play with the Timelines Banner along with the Sol Satrapy Banner. I will link it. Massive thank you to Zephnar 
who is also working on the um, the multiplayer mod as well, the tournament mod. But massive thanks to Zephna for getting that sorted. Woo, woo, big props. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I think we're oh, just about oh, ready no, to go. There is one other thing to point oh, out. Sorry. Oh, yeah. One final thing. So, so that everyone is aware, um, all of the players in today's game uh, have both a goal for today's session but also a goal for the overall series. Now, we're not going to be telling you what those goals are, obviously. Um, you'll find out the session goals at the end of the session and the series goals at the end of the series. Every session will have a goal attached to it for every player. So they, they will have their own, um, their own goal for each session that they have to try and achieve. And uh, again, between the different players, because the other empires will be being controlled by different people throughout the series, between them, they have a certain goal that they have to, to try and get to throughout the course of the game. Um, so everyone's pulling in different directions, and you might not be able to work out sometimes why certain people are doing certain things. DJ, one quick thing. I've noticed um, Marcus Nasty in chat has pointed out that ASPEC and EP3 are using the same event submission link, and I apparently have mine. Would you check... That they um that the the ASPEC and EP throw have the correct form submission links for the events. P pretty please. And if they don't, uh, would you jump in and now. let them know? Uh, uh, oh, gifted uh, memberships. Thank you very much, SCP. It's very kind. Yeah, I, I, have you given the wrong link to ASPEC? Because no, no, he it's, has... it's in the it's in the Discord. It's on the Discord server. Right. Okay. I'll go in and let them know. Cool. I've just uh, well, I've linked it by citing this yeah, one. No. Everybody, have a lovely day. Uh, enjoy the session, and uh, I will speak to you all later. Yes, fantastic. And also, a note for those of you who are new members, if you've just joined via Patreon or you've just joined via uh, YouTube here, make sure, make sure that you connect either your YouTube account to your Discord account or your Patreon account to your Discord account. You can find out how to do that by Googling it. Um, well, David, thank you for the glory of the satrapy. That's uh, th that's very kind of you, sir. Uh, you're a fine admiral in the fleet, if I do say so myself. Um, but basically, yeah, so if you don't automatically get the role, if you connect your YouTube account to your Discord account or your Patreon account to your Discord account, that should then be sorted out automatically. I'm just going to confirm that everyone is good to go. Alrighty. Um, we're going to be starting in just another moment or two. What's going on though, chat? Audio is fine here. $100. Now the fleet won't be... Yeah, now the fleet's going to be the grandest fleet in the gosh darn game. How long will the game be? Yes. You aren't streaming on Twitch? No. Why are we saying yes? Why are we all saying yes? Uh... Why? Why are we saying yeah? What? What's? The, why am I getting a yes spam? I don't understand. Yes, yes. C. Yes, yes, yes. No. Aha! We're getting some no's. It's beautiful. Okay. Can the character blink? No, ladies and gentlemen. But I will be coming to you with more and more facial expressions as time goes on. You see, now, now that I am in higher resolution, you might finally be able to see it when I cry, when I am happy, when I'm afraid. All sorts of lovely things. A massive shout out here to Witchcore for designing my new face. All right, we are going to get going. We are going to get going now, I suppose. Let's show you what we can see. Ta-da! Welcome to the Sol Satrapy. Right, and... Oh, the Pythria Satrapy has been destroyed and we've only just started the game. Now that is deeply disturbing that the year 2200 but otherwise um well we, we're not kind of that happy with them so we're gonna go here and we are definitely a bulwark fantastic let's look at our research options to start with so what should we go with to begin with ladies and gentlemen i'm thinking capacity subsidies possibly along with 
uh, ooh, biodiversity and some nano mechanics. Of course, we've now got our freedom and we're going to go forth in the name of uh, Bell Boss. So let's take a look at the space runner. So here we are. And then Hran Hep Homan, the Imperial Razax Estate. That is EP3O there. And over here we have the Inak Research Satrapy. That is, sorry, no, this is EP3O. Uh, the Imperial Razax Estate is A-Spec. And then where are we? Yes, so Bell Boss is here. Here is the hegemony. There is Emperor Shaddam the Sixth. Praise Bell Boss, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yes, your response, I suppose. We're getting some embassies. Yes, we'll accept embassies. Absolutely. Let's go and say hello, possibly. Well, we'll say hello in a moment. Um, otherwise, we are going to be checking on our capital. Looks good. You know, I think, though, we probably need to up our military production in order to be able to uh, compete out there in the galaxy. The first thing I think we're going to go with is an alloy foundry for the glory of Belboss in whose holy name we fight. This needs to be renamed because it's the wrong one. Beautiful. And then we could upgrade briefly. I don't think I want to. Right, you have five planets here. What are these planets? So we are surveying Alpha Centauri for the first time ever. We've got a gas giant. We've got a barren world. More information might come in as time goes on. All righty. James would be conquered by a bunch of phrases. Let's go and say hello and give an invitation to Aspec. Salutation, sir. Um, thank you for the embassy invitation. It's a diplomatic entourage from Earth jumping in to say hello. Hello, what's going on there, Earth? Uh, yeah, welcome. Um, I, we are, in fact, the wonderful uh, Imperial Razak Estate. And we thought by ourselves, we, we are in this together. And I would like to get to know you a little bit better in that embassy is the first step for future relations to both yours and my empire together. What can I do for you on this wonderful well, day? Is there anything you need? Absolutely. It's, it's so lovely to um, meet a fellow, uh, a fellow upstanding uh, member of the community, the hegemony. But um, we'd love to extend an invitation to you. We've got a, a brilliant Victory Day parade. It's a very exclusive event. It's going to be, we've got the 25th anniversary, actually, of our Victory Day, our first Victory Day that we're going to be celebrating in, uh, what is it, two years' time? Yes, March the 12th, in, uh, no, in three years' time, in 2203, March the 12th. We'd love you to attend or at least send a delegation or something like that. I will see what I can do, and uh, I would be delighted to join you on this wonderful day to celebrate your um, your victory at the time. Uh, excuse me in the meantime, I just had a ping for uh, from our glorious overlord, and Fantastic. it appears that a Prospectorian specialization has just wrapped up. We will get in touch with you to uh, sync our calendars, of course. Uh, as a megacorp, we can uh, get you anything that you ever require, whether or not it is refrigerators, um, microwaves, uh, zombie pops. We can get all of that stuff to you at whatever note you Did you, did you, you say want. zombies? You, mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, sorry? we... we we, um, we, we grow our workers in tanks. Don't you worry. There's nothing in unethical about this. They don't have a soul. Therefore, they're not people. So it's all fine. Good. We'll, um, we'll, we'll, get, we'll circle back. Cool. Yes. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, new here. We do have Excuse a Excuse me. Excuse oh. me, sir. What is this uh, insult? I, uh, the, peop the, the, the bulwark of the hegemony is furious. What is this insult that I'm seeing on our screens that uh, is sent to us? That must be a, you know, a, a, it wasn't us. It must have got lost in space. I don't know the uh, the radio waves. I'm not sure your your nitwit people kind of understand uh, the How dare in space. you? We've received another insult while we're in communications. That, this I, is a I'm clear indication of a flagrant yeah. disregard for the parent protocols. Keep your communications in line with the hegemony's um, rules, sir. I'm oh, sorry, could you uh, email us the... Uh, and also, you're not welcome on again. Earth in two years' time at all. Uh, you, it's a, it's a no... It's a no uh, Bront... Nothing, nothing. But you're not welcome. It's a no Bront... It's a Brontrack free zone. Actually, you're not welcome for a little while, just in general. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. For well, military that's, protection. That's, uh, getting, you know, you're breaking some of the protocols, uh, surely. <laughs> limiting space. Sorry, you're breaking up. <laughs> limiting some space. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. We've run into our first two friends and neighbors. Um, 
what what are our thoughts? We have accepted the commercial pack from our overlord. They do need discipline. Yes, friends is a strong word. Destroy EP301 first. We cannot, in fact, declare war. And actually, let's get some music going. That's a little silly. I don't know why we don't have music. We need music. I think Hegemonic Dominion is where we start this one. A beautiful piece for a for a beautiful feeling of victory. I'm going to buy more alloys, that sort of thing. It's going to be a good idea, I think. Yes. Excellent. And we will, as, as promised, increase alloy production. After he's increased our alloy production, though, where should we go next, ladies and gentlemen? Also, actually, first tradition. What's our first tradition? I mean, I, we, it probably has to be supremacy, doesn't it? Um... Let me just create a quick poll. Oh, no, that's that's wrong. <laughs> huh? Unyielding? No, it couldn't be unyielding. Wait, where? Oh, yeah, unyielding's there. Let's, let's, uh, Marcus says, let's fix the protocols under firm human hand and then we can fix EP30. We are, don't forget, the sole military satrapy. So that, I, I would think it's in the name, but the poll is live now. Vote, vote in the court of the satrap, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a continental world here on Alpha Centauri discovered in 2106. We've also found a blasted tomb world. What this could mean for us, I, I simply do not know. Though it, it looks to be some large world that has been scoured by radio, radioactive uh, debris and is now experiencing a nuclear winter. That is, um, that is pretty wild. Thank you very much for the five Montu Plays gifted memberships as well. It's very kind of you. I'm seeing Supremacy, do vote. And don't forget, if you're enjoying Stellaris Timelines, if you're enjoying this stream, go ahead and uh, use the like button to praise Bell Boss. Right, I'm going to end the vote in just... Actually, we're at 48%. I'm going to leave the vote open, but I'm going to take Supremacy because it's pretty clear that's the way the people want it. Alrighty, we've also got an anomaly around Alpha Centauri B. Proxima Centauri B's peculiar orbit around its red dwarf star renders the planet tidally locked and potentially worthy of further investigation. Well, let's wait until we've resurveyed that system before we get on with it. Felix, welcome, Priest. Thank you very much for the support. Let's uh, end that poll immediately. Praise Belvos. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Well, I think we should get a colony ship up and running so we can colonize Alpha Centauri 3. Uh, or otherwise known as New Netherlands, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much to Leon for uh, submitting that name to the planet name list. I should probably also... Let's also clear the sprawling slum. The, will we ever be able to do anything about the Desolus, otherwise known as the Scandinavian Reclamation Center? I'm not entirely sure. If I leave a science ship over the tomb for one year, I'll discover more about its fate. Well, DJ, I will absolutely be building a science ship to throw over that tomb world. Indeed, sir. Indeed. And I'm just going to circle back and say thank you very much, David, for a massive contribution. That's really very, very kind. Thank you. Um, what is the name of the Empire again? We are the Sol Military Satrapy. Next to us we have the, uh, the Imperial Razak's Estate and the Inak Research Satrapy. We are overlorded by the hegemony of Belbos, who are now very overwhelming to us. They are next to the Savasic Satrapy and the 
Calimel Satrapy. Additionally, the Pythria Satrapy is apparently no more. I don't know, we don't know exactly what happened to them, but for somehow they fell long before we were in touch. Right. Let's survey that system as well, I think. And then otherwise we'll see what's going on. So unbelievable. Multiplayer's viewers chose Supremacy as first edition game, which DJ's GM Discovery on Yielding would both be much stronger first choice, possibly. Possibly we would have needed that. It seems the AF, AF has inspired other moments in Pythria. Uh, Pythria. Is it Pythria? What's it called? Pythria? It's Pythria. Sorry, it's Pythria. Those two systems. Yes, yeah, so Segnius is an overlord system. They have a, a planet here, a little outpost. And a, and a derelict gateway we can't use. And then Cytine is also an overlord system. Let me see. Crush the snails. No, we don't need to crush the snails. We've invited them to our victory day parade. Crushing is entirely not necessary. We will, of course, be building new mining stations because around Alpha Centauri 2, that's in the Alpha Centauri A star, we have um, Alpha Centauri 2A and 2 and 2A, we have massive mining deposits. There are, is also a habitable continental world, a very small one. We're going to go and colonize that. Look at the three planet system. Well, we don't have a science ship there yet. I think I think it'd be unreasonable to attempt to jump in there, to, to be honest. We are getting our increased alloy production well underway, though, folks. Here we go for the hegemony. Praise Belboss. Should we have a look at holy, glorious terror? Here is the mud ball. There is what is left of um, what what is left of the old government's earth doesn't doesn't really exist in this timeline. So I don't think you'd know what's what to to be honest. But we've got lots of there's some mega cities on the planet still. Of course, um, looks like what used to be Canada is now very populous indeed. I am I'm not the caretaker. I am actually in fact so currently the satrap is Jeffrey Hammond. Uh, he's an industrialist and an investor whose agenda is currently fleet expansion. Huzzah, ladies and gentlemen. We must expand the fleet for the safety of Sol and the protection of our entire hegemony. Righty ho, so we're just gonna increase the speed a little bit because I think we're good there for speed. Expand the fleet, build cheese factory next. So I think we need to have some DACA class destroyers rolling off the production lines. As you know, uh, fleet, 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 glory to the, uh, sorry, glory to the what? American pride, sir. Uh, uh, that, uh, commissar, commissar, that's the one. He's right there, commissar. Uh, no, DACA, not DACA. Uh, darker light. It's, it's, it's the city. C-D-H-A-K-A. -A. Come on, people. The uh, capital of old Bangladesh. Uh, let's go and take this planet. I know the, the name is. Let me grab it. This is New Netherlands. May the Netherlands live forever in our hearts, apparently. Commissar James Baxter, he's another one there. He says we can't silence us, be all silenced, and says for the AAF, Commissar, Commissar. Right, we've got a science ship now, so let's throw a scientist onto the science ship. We'll do that when we get there. We're going to throw a science ship in orbit above Alpha Centauri for a year to do some research on that blasted, uh, blasted tomb world. And also increase our generator districts. We have also discovered... On Firaman 2, we have discovered, um, where is Firaman 2? Firaman 2 is a tundra world. 
We have discovered ancient artifacts from an ancient civilization. Uh, what we have learned from these artifacts is correct. This civilization was some sort of confederation that consisted of many different alien races. Ah, just like the hegemony. Belvos protects. Clearly, if they were members of the hegemony, they might not have all died or whatever it is. They call themselves the First League and appear to have coexisted about two million years ago. Though, through, uh, though the Philomir system lies in the region of space that seems to have made up to be made up of their core territory, a partial map found among the artifacts indicates that this first league may have discovered a significant portion of our, portion of our galaxy before its eventual collapse. Alrighty then. So, the first league should be very useful indeed. Just going to quickly... We seem to have a slight connection issue with one of our observers. Bear with me. Fant... Uh, oh. No. Typing AMS ASMR clickety click. So what's this? Imperial Razax has taken broken their migration treaty from Belbos. <gasps> uh, could cracks be forming in the hegemony? If I die, I die a free human, says Marek Shoja. Fair enough. Well, that's interesting. We've also got a leader level gain for Sota Harashimo. That solved the problem. I just had to kick one of our observers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've also got contact reports now. Oh, goodness me. Um, what's this? So, intelligent life taunts with painted absence reads a popular news net on Earth. The people of the Seoul military satrapy are apparently finding some humor in the fact that lower forms of alien life are now a matter of public record. But potential equals, uh, equals from other stars continue to... That's not true. That's not true at all. And the new Netherlands, the first human colony, has been established. Someone mark the date down, roughly. <laughs> I think we should also be cautious as well. We'll leave the signs of the priest cursor activity for now. And we will throw down a scientist onto this first science ship. Yes. Let's take a look at our research leaders. All righty. Right, we'll leave them in orbit above for a year. And congratulations, people, we just had as well the 25-year uh, the anniversary. Happy Victory Day. Victory over the INAC Research Satrapy once and for all. Cheers to that one.
Matthias, thank you very much for your support. It is very kind. Did Aspect send a delegation? Yes, uh, we, we received his delegation with great care, as promised. Worry not, me lords and ladies. Let's see. Maybe we should go and have a quick chat. Is there anything we need at the moment, ladies and gentlemen? Anything we might want to trade? We are running low on minerals. Let's see if we can trade some minerals for some cold, hard cash. Let me just... We'll, uh, we'll open up a tr off trade offer. Yes, good. So we'll trade. We'll offer 10 per month in exchange for fire. Actually, what's the market rate? What could we buy it for? We could buy 10 per month and it would cost us 13. So if we offer 10 energy, we'd want to buy 8. Yes, this seems like a reasonable deal. Let's give it a go. Let's see if they'll if they accept the trade negotiation. Let's send a delegation. Greetings, uh, esteemed Satrap neighbors. We, uh, we've got a bit of a trade delegation request issue incoming. Hello? Okay, and what is what is this? Uh, what, what can I do for you today? We're running a little bit short of minerals. We were wondering if we could buy some on a monthly basis, possibly for the next 10 years, say. Um, technically possible. How many would you need? Eight per month for, for eight per for, month for ten. Uh, ten of our finest, hardest, coldest cash. Um, uh, could you do consumer goods instead? Yeah, we could. How many consumer goods? Half seas four. So four. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll. Yes, yes. Yeah, we will do that. That sounds. We, 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 we can throw in some. We've got fantastic iPads. They're, they're brilliant. They're, they're the best iPads ever. Jeff Pads, something like that. Jeff Pads, okay, yep. cool. It should be on your table immediately or any time now. Oh, no, 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 no. Let us send the contracts. Oh, oh you, you, your take... people. Oh, okay. Let yeah. our, my people will talk to your people and okay, we'll, right. we'll get something going. All right, that was a successful trade deal, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. Um, we're going to have the biggest fleet ever. Let me grab another planet name here. This is going to be St. Valentine's. And a favor. Ooh. This, uh... That sounds... Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. We didn't, we didn't... We don't read contracts, do we, ladies and gentlemen? I'm sure he sent us four... Four consumer goods. That's a four consumer goods month is what we promised. And I'm pretty sure that's what got sent out there. The fleet will expand. Fear not, my loyal brethren. We have a disabled gateway as well. <gasps> wow, let's take a look at that. Where is it? Right on the edge of this system is a disabled gateway. If only that gives us some way of traveling. Also, I'm just going to grab uh, the G GM. We've got... Greetings, uh, oh. fellow what, vassal. What can we do for you, you precocious upstarts? Okay, we don't need to get, you know, too too insulted. I believe there was a breakdown in communication. I don't think we were... I was trying to send, like, happy thoughts to you, and it kind of got misinterpreted as insults. Um, we, we're not too good with communicating as humans like you, um, after you destroyed the planet. Um, oh, after so, we did what? Oh, sorry. No, that I don't was, think we did. I, I think you're mistaken. Was, we, we've only was, helped the hegemony. We are the, the bulwark and guardians of freedom and justice and yeah, family. We freedom. agree. We agree. You are the the, the sword of this uh, this uh, the the overlord. But we were wondering. We have an offer. Since you know communication breakdown is uh, quite rife between us, we we're wondering if we could send a science ship to learn your uh, learn your communication ways. It will help us with our science. It will help the overlord, which I'm sure you would like to do. 
in building up a big science network. Uh, so we propose sending one science ship to Seoul to passively study. We will not get involved at all. You can shoot the ship down if it comes too close. Um, in exchange for well, whatever you need, really. Uh, we'll, we'll happily do a deal with you, since uh, science is the way. Um, uh, but, uh, we need some... We'd la we need some minerals. Can you give us two minerals per month? Yep, that sounds good. And uh, we'll send the science ship to study, and hopefully we the communication breakdown doesn't happen uh, happen anymore between us. Uh, we'll try send... Wait, let, let, let's see. Can we send a... Uh, all right, this too is... late. We accepted. Thank you. Uh, sorry, we're getting another communication coming in. I'll be right back with you. Excuse me. You, sorry, uh... there seems to have been a, a slight technical uh, error. Uh, we, 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 um, the, 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 they stopped coming. We, we, the, the shipments they stopped, and now we're getting new contracts. I, I'm, we're, we're a little confused over here. Can we look? Um... Look. Okay. So I had a talk with the lawyers, right? And uh, initially, we send over um, fi uh, the complementary uh, minerals over towards your empire. Uh, just to make sure that you were good for the minerals, uh, for the consumer goods, obviously. First month passed, secondary contract comes in, you will get the minerals uh, as a permanent so setup. So if we right sign now. this, we'll get the minerals? Yes, you will get the minerals every single uh, month. I can't, these are very complicated legal. I mean, I'm only an admiral, so I don't, I'm not really, we're not, yeah. So w the signature should be on your desk momentarily. Yes, that is correct. You have your minerals now, and Fantastic. Uh, that's there. They should be coming in. Thank you so much for taking the time here, and we're, ah, we're looking good. really good. In the meantime, though, I, I do want to talk to you uh, about one thing. I had a I had a quick chat with um, one of our colleagues, uh, E3PO, and uh, specifically, they were talking about uh, you invading their territory at some moment in time. And this is also, from what I understand, what this uh, parade is about. Uh, well, no, we, a we, little we, while we back. as you know, we liberated them on behalf of the hegemony. There was no, it wasn't an invasion. Oh, yeah. It was, it was a welcome day, and it was a victory parade for our glorious victory. Um, yes. Okay, yes. uh, they're not happy about it, so... Um, they must be confused. Uh, well, all I'm saying is is that from a cultural point of view, it wasn't very cash money on their from their side. Um, mm -hmm, they mm -hmm, don't really mm -hmm, see mm -hmm. the dividends of this. My jargon, of course, from our side. But still, um, please be aware that they may try stuff uh, in the future. And so we, just we've just entered back. into an arrangement with them. Um, are you, and we're allowing one of their science ships into our space. Are you saying that they could be, this science ship could actually be a military ship of some sort and have hostile intent against the bulwark of the hegemony? Uh, yes, basically. So do be careful about that. We will, um, we'll, we'll deal with that momentarily. Uh, I'm just getting another communication through, but, but thank you. We'll got to go deal with border security. Yeah, no worries. GM, um, hi. We've had the thing above the place for a year, please. Give give info. Uh, okay, so the information that you've discovered is that, first of all, the planet was turned into a tomb world thousands upon thousands of years ago. Hundreds of thousands. Okay. Um, and you have found, however, a few fairly decently uh, sort of um, some, some corpses in good state. Yep. You've done okay. some A testing. And um, there's some very similar markers to DNA found on Earth. Um, there you go. That's what you found out. Similar markers for the DNA. So there's also a tomb world. We found a tomb world as well in the Philomere system. Um, oh, that's Philomere interesting. Philomere 4. It, it, will anything happen if we sit above there for, for 10 years? Uh, well, year obviously, you need to study it, right? So, yes, we'll, so we'll, don't do that I mean, you would have to, to send. Yeah. Okay. Uh, message received and understood. Wink. Wink. Cool. Cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, we now know that... Um, no, we're humans. We're not Xenos. No, no. We are the sole military satrapy. This is aristocratic elite police state. Don't forget to chronicle the events as they're happening. Um, enjoy yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Is that Eden? No, this is a tomb world. There's a tomb world there. Um, the New Netherlands. What shall we dedicate the New Netherlands towards? At the moment, I built just a generator district because we might be running a little low. 
but what kind of dedication w w are we thinking, ladies and gentlemen, of the satrapy? What should we dedicate this first planet towards? There is also St. Valentine dedicated towards an ocean. Could we have had an empire in the past which is long forgotten? I don't, I mean, we could have done. I, I, I don't think so. Dedicate fortress. We're seeing industry, fortress, alloys. All right, so it looks like I'm going to go with... Will it be a fortress, an alloy, or uh, the other one? Earth apes need more guns. Also, St. Valentine's is a tropical world. We'll finish colonizing that very soon. When the pop-ups appear, I won't stop them immediately, so you can kind of see roughly when the date is, click them off, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Sirius here, there seems to be another continental world. Don't know too much about it yet, though. Your Jeff pad doesn't work. I'd recommend a refund. Speak to your nearest Jeff technician. What have you missed so far, Carson? Um, we're, we're expanding out into the galaxy a little bit. We've found Alpha Centauri. We found a tomb world. There are traces of human DNA on that tomb world. Confusing stuff. We're now in orbit of Philomir and we're investigating. So somebody tell me when it's been a year. Okay. Here comes the Inak. So that that clearly i mean we've been told it has a hostile intent we're gonna tell them to turn away immediately oh inact vessel this is the sole satrapy leave our borders immediately um or be fired what do you mean? upon we agreed we agreed uh, that their information has been passed to us the, the agreement is rendered void that ship is not as not a civilian you have are bringing weapons into the soul system what is this propaganda? We will, uh, you can this search. This is us clear us and correct this, information. This is false propaganda. What are you hiding from us? We, we hide nothing. We, mm. have, we only have truth. Well, I'd like those minerals back. What minerals? Oh, dear. That, well, they, let, let me see if I've learned are... how to communicate. Wait, here's um communication. Okay, so what do you call... Wait, no, actually. Why did the chicken cross the road? You 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 just said you you've just sent us a communication while talking here saying that we our no, willingness to embrace alien cultures is because yeah. we never had a culture of our own. It, this wanton abuse like this cannot be overlooked. I know this was meant to be this was meant to be a um a compliment, not an insult. Um, the real the real message here is is this: we picked up a few what you what your planet calls comedy, I believe. Um, we we have many comedies, yes. So here's a classic one for you. What? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? I, I don't know why. Because. What? Because. <laughs> this is very good. Good stuff. Um, it's, it's, I don't understand this. We're gonna we're gonna dial in later. I uh, question mark. Um, <laughs> good. 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 Good, good stuff, Inak people. We're, we're glad that you are part of the family of the hegemony now. Oh, sorry, my communications. <laughs> sorry, we're getting <laughs> interference. <laughs> Hello, DM. We have been above Philomir for about a year now. What, what do we know about Philomir 4, the tomb world? Hello there. So, what you've discovered there is, um, once again, a similar scene. This one's even older. Yeah. How old? Uh, roughly three quarters of a million years. So, sorry, roughly 750,000 years old, it became a tomb world. Is there yes. traces of DNA with human characteristics on there, you're saying? Or like some sort of human so markers? What this you... time, you have hit the mother load. You actually oh. found uh, in your searching a vault underground, um, which oh. was some kind of bunker where some people tried to survive. They didn't. They died. However, um, because the, the vault has been sealed the the uh bodies are incredibly well preserved like far better than you could ever hope for yeah right and you have found a species which is clearly distinct from human um okay. like they're very different to you but there but, are but... some dna strands that tend to suggest that you know common heritage there's something there Okay. You don't know okay. what, but All there right. is something there. All right. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, DJ. 
there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. On the, so, what is going on on these worlds around Earth? Two worlds with traces of human DNA on them. Crazy stuff, if you ask me. Um, but otherwise, we, what is our second planet, St. Valentine's, dedicated towards? I need some suggestions. We've got an alloy world now. So maybe, um, possibly this could be an energy world. A fortress world. Okay, yeah, fortress. I'll, I'll add that to the list. Yes, a fortress. Yes, I'll put that. I'll put energy. Yeah, I will put energy because you might need that. I'm seeing lots of more alloys. Goodness. Oh, consumer goods. Could need consumer goods. Yeah. I think tech would be bad because it's poor quality minerals. So I'm not going to, I'm going to ignore that, right? There's a poll up now. I, I think you're all going to vote for fortress, but I'm going to, I'm going to give you people the choice. Not that I should, um, but I'm, I, you know, the, on behalf of the satrap, Jeffrey Hammond, I place this agenda before the satrapy themselves and hope you find it uh, useful, willing, successful, uh, something. Another science ship, another science ship. We have increased the echelons of the nobility. The opening of a brand new noble estate happened, what, very recently? We need as much territory as possible. Yes, here is the glorious Sol military satrapy. Incompetent tactician, how do you submit names again? Um, basically, you follow the links on the Discord. These nobles will have the same fate as the rest. Breaking news, the new Jeff Pad 11 has launched with excellent reception. 15 million units sold on the first weekend. That's in 2000, uh, 2208, apparently. What could possibly happen? Why are these worlds scoured of life? That's the question we're asking ourselves. That is the question on the floor. I'm seeing energy world, 45%. You can still vote, ladies and gentlemen. Do get your votes in, though. We are also increasing our knowledge of the hegemony. I think this is going to be an energy world, then. In fact, I'm quite certain of it. And we have another, uh, another, what's this? Who do we have living on our world? Oh no, we don't have anyone living here. Sorry. Oh, did somebody say hello? I did, hello, sorry oh, hello. to bother you. Yes. Um, just a brief one. Uh, you just had a question in chat that I think is is well worth paying attention to. Um, Which one Devin, was that? Devin uh, McInnes has asked, well, who are the current researchers and leaders we have? Yes, who, who so do we So if you could briefly have. bring them all up on screen. We so have Governor for the archives. Nindazendi Ibori. Um, leading, our, leading our physics research is Edizadi Zoko. And then we have Charlotte Foster in charge of society. And L. Wells in charge of engineering. Meanwhile, our first science ship here is led by Sota Hashimoto, our second by Silvio Saletta, our third by Renata Garcia, our fourth is currently unassigned, but we're going to have, uh, I'm going to grab this fellow, and actually this one I'm going to grab a new name from our name list, bear with me, this is Bastus Coat. There we are. And they should just go out to explore the universe. Off they go. Interesting. 
into the wild green yonder. Wild green yonder? I can't remember what it's called. I'm going to end that poll there. We're definitely having an energy world here, so I'll switch that over straight away. I think we might need to distribute some luxuries. Ah, we're having some some happiness issues on Earth. There seem to be some a few troubled spots out there amongst the population. Don't they know we're here for the uh, the joys of humanity? Something. Oh. An ancient alien starship lying half buried in an asteroid crater. We'll have to come back to that in just a moment. And an archaeology site. Strange asteroid. Interesting. Interesting. Let's grab a mining station on Sirius A, Sirius 2A, Sirius 4. This all looks good. Population Earth is getting tired. Uh, which scientists just scan the tombs? Some will have to jump back into the uh, into the. Oh wait, that was that was Silvio Saletta, I think. Yeah, that was Silvio Saletta who did the tombs. I'm pretty sure, pretty confident. Should we salvage a submerged cruiser? Yeah, I think we should. I think we definitely should. And we're going to send Silvio for the job of cruiser salvaging. Or do we do that in the menu here? Oh, it's a 5,000. We're not doing that right now. Nope. Nope. Alloy production is up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's get better fusion reactors on our starships. That'll be good. This cruiser, a relic of the ancestors, possibly. I mean, they share genetic, they're definitely not human, but they share genetic markers, whatever that could mean. Well, I, I think we're, we're about, in three years' time, we're coming up to another Victory Day Parade. This time we're going to have an Imperial, uh, I'm just going to let um, uh, Imperial Movement. To celebrate, in fact, we're going to give out some of those brand new uh, consumer goods. We shan't be inviting the Inak, not at all. Can't be allowed to get a single foothold. Let's colonize this world. I'm going to go with... Let me grab another, let's grab another name from the name list. Mandragora. Here we go. They, they declined our lovely offer. What is this all about? We'll have to go... Boyers. H hello, hello. Sorry, we, we sent a, a delegation. It also was going to come with an invitation. You're oh. invited to our annual... Uh, this is going to be the, the 35th year um, after our victory. We're having a new parade and we were sending out um, our newest uh, consumer good artifacts uh, as a token of our esteem. We're going to be having... It's going to be brilliant. This year, we're going to go on a, a victory parade. Um, we're going to take our fleet and go for a little uh, uh, fly around uh, all of our neighboring solar systems. We might be thinking about visiting uh, your capital as well to be there for your victory for the victory day. You are if you're more, than, more than welcome. Just be aware of the congestion charge within our systems. The 10 consumer goods that you just uh, sent to us would be uh, are more than enough. Just be aware that there is no such higher speed than, uh, uh, than FTL Class 1 drives in our capital systems due to some spatial uh, issues that we've had over the last few years but uh, we appreciate it and of course you are more than welcome uh to bring three corvettes into our capital right um yes we will do that we'll bring the ships we we, we might have uh, just sorry we're getting a communication we might actually have to how about we come for the 45th we've actually just received word from from the bell boss from the hegemony that we we, we need to go um to the capital immediately for a uh, uh, another important matter um, i see i so see well you are more more than welcome to uh to fly by uh the system is always open to you you know how it works uh you can just pass through the uh, pass through the capital no problem whatsoever 
Brilliant. And we will send you the. Uh, I don't. We didn't send you the the, the charge yet. Did oh we? no! In this particular case, you've already paid for the congestion charge. Thank you very Brilliant. much. Brilliant. Fantastic. Right. So we're actually going to go visit the the capital. We're going to go visit the capital. We've been told by uh, by the by the bell boss that that's where we have to host our victory parade this year. So we will we will do that. Of course. Praise bell boss. Oh, oh dear. Hello. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, we've uh, we've we've gone back to the books. Right. We think we figured out how to communicate with you. Um, uh -huh. This is comedy. What do you call a very rude bird? A brontorock. A mocking bird. Bird. The silence is deafening. Okay, we'll go back to the books. Didn't work. Uh... <laughs> Your attempts to hide your repulsive fluid secretions are mocked by you. Are you laughing at our tears, sir? Well, a tears of happiness. I thought it was from the joke. No. Uh, sorry. Uh -huh. Um, we've actually I've, I've I've misunderstood. We're visiting somewhere else for the. So um, uh, be aware. Um, we are going to be uh, en route to your. We, we, welcome. We are going to be celebrating the victory day with you, sir. Do not worry. Um. Oh, so we can we can do a mutual open borders then. Um... This is uh, I I no obviously there is of course an issue, um, with. Okay, well maybe that. maybe when we finally become a comedy legend, uh, <laughs> we will be allowed in. Maybe they'll like our jokes. I don't know. You, you guys don't have many entertainers, I'm guessing. No, on Soul. And we've Lacking got plenty of entertainers, comedy. plenty of entertainers. But um, mm. yeah, you, you do. It does require. Uh, you must open your borders immediately. This is the. Uh, this is Renata Garcia of the TSS Sojourner. Please, please open um, borders. Seems to be a bit of a, an issue. No, oh, not, not me. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That must have been a miscommunication to you. Uh, we're um, going to be sending in a preliminary scouting mission, but you are of course uh, invited to watch the victory day celebrations from the planet below we're going what to be doing a reenactment of our welcoming ceremony from oh. 20 35 years ago so this do is... not be alarmed as we reenact our victory ceremony as long as you don't come and actually just you know wipe out a few of our species that will be fine no well we won't wipe anyone out we're just going to reenact yeah but not with real no no not not real guns right fake guns you know uh <laughs> oh good they left they we didn't have to say anything and they left immediately fantastic right we're going to get there just in time we've got another month or so we're gonna actually we're gonna make it on perfect time to celebrate above great nest let's have a look at the uh the fleet here here they go beautiful absolutely beautiful a live fire reenactment Orders came in from on high from the satrap himself, probably passed from. We have to assume from the uh, from from the governor of uh, from, from from the emperor. Praise Belbos, praise Emperor Shaddam the sixth. And here we are directly above, just in time for these celebrations. Isn't it glorious, ladies and gentlemen? Is it not beautiful? I want some praise Belbos in chats as well. <clears throat> The reenactment looks so realistic. <laughs> yes, it's very realistic. It's extra realistic. Let's see, we're getting some communications. Hegemony of Belbos, of course, that. What's this?
I, I, well, I don't know. We've got some uh, first contact on the ferry system. Let's uh, let's see what's going to happen there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, goodness me. Uh, what well, we we we've not actually we're not prepared for this. What are our first contact protocols? What do we do? Breaking news: A terrorist attempt was prevented during the 35th anniversary celebration of our victory. Belbos authorities have captured five humans of an unknown organization. Two pigeons were killed. There we are. There we are. Um, but so yeah, in 23, 2213, in the ferry system, we've encountered unknown aliens. What is our policy? Cautious. All right, cautious. We will bring the fleet back if necessary. We need some more Miami class. Turning point AFF. If aliens aren't meant to be killed, then why are they so easy to shoot? <laughs> Miami has no class. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting points. Interesting points. Um... So we want some Miami class. As you all know, they are the pride of the fleet. Excellent at turning away the enemy. We've built a monument as well to our people to celebrate the 35th anniversary on Earth. Praise Belboss, of course. Uh, that is providing us with, let's take a look. Amenities, reduce pop upkeep and naval capacity. Fair enough. Soul Satrapy. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, we have a couple of questions for you. Uh, in the past, you um, were very military focused or even still right now, aren't you? Yes. Yes. I, yep, I see. Yeah. Um, under the under the guise of um, uh, friendship and economic prosperity, we have opened up a franchise of our empire on your capital world, uh, because as we say in our empire, um, rule uh, thirty five, war is good for business, and I think that that really syncs up and synergizes very well with your goals and our business acumen. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it fits with the parent protocols. Then absolutely. Sure. sure. Uh, also, considering we are somewhat situated in a central position between um, our overlord's capital, but also between yourself and some of the other satrapies, it does mean that information flows freely between all locations. And every once in a while, we do hear some things along the grapevine. If there's anything you would like to know from... Um, uh, from an information point of view that could help you in the future, feel free to knock onto our doors, and I'm sure that we can come up with a wonderful deal in order to enrich your situation. Um, yes. Yes, it's a good deal. Good idea. All right, then thank you. Um, as we say, uh, of course, uh, thank you so much, and uh, we will talk to you soon, and uh, prepare for some franchisees to come over and open up some wonderful storefronts. I hear that the new uh, Pulsarite 24 uh, attack rifle is uh, part of the next shipments that we'll be selling locally on your planet. So um, good luck with that, and uh, of course, if there's any other things, let us know. Praise Bell Boss. Praise Bell Boss. Well, that's all gone uh, swimmingly well, I think, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a great friend, apparently, in the uh, Imperial Razax estate. Cle clearly, their agenda aligns with our own. We found a clear signal in 2114, month four, something like that. We have managed to pick up a clear signal, um, a clear audio feed of conversations between several Nephilim ships. While our linguists are still none the wiser as to the meanings of any of the words they are recorded, they're optimistic that this new signal will help them make significant progress towards a breakthrough. All right, then we also have an anomaly. Strange magnetic waves, we'll come back to that later, I think.
All right, so what are we going to go for for our first Ascension perk? Probably not Lord of War. We don't want mercenary enclaves. Um, Imperial prerogative could fit the narrative, I suppose. What, what are we thinking here? Executive vigor? We must inform the Belboss of possibly more wayward children of Belboss. I mean, we, we'll do it in time. Technological ascendancy. Uh, we, we could do tech ascendancy, I suppose. Tech ascendancy is wise, imperial prerogative right. I'm seeing. All right, I'm going to put up a poll. So. Anything else? I'm seeing. Or, or, or executive vigor. Yeah, that's a good point. Right, okay. So I'm actually going to uh, inform the DM that we found a possible alien race. Hello, DM. Um, we are wanting to report to the Bell Boss that we're starting to uncover signs of a possible alien race um, that doesn't fall in line with our understanding of the parent protocol. Uh in what way doesn't it uh, uh, align? Well, with we, what we, this is not this is not this is not what we've been told was going to happen. Well, what were you told was going to happen? Well, we weren't told about this. We just well, we didn't well, we didn't know this was going to happen. But there are many mysteries out there for you to discover. This is the way of the protocols. So what I'm hearing here is the Bellboss is going to speak in a thousand riddles again. Brilliant, brilliant. Thanks, Bellboss. We'll uh, brilliant. Cool. <laughs> Come back to us when you actually know who you have met. All right, will do. Chris Wilson, thank you very much for your support. Welcome. Let's bring those two together. Imperial, they, that, that ran out. Good. Or well, fine is a better way of putting it. Probably need another research lab on the homeworld of Earth. Are the Belvas hiding something? Quite possibly, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Sirius has finished, just been caught. Sirius, the planet Sirius, Mad Madragora has just been colonized. What are we going to turn this world into? Could be mining. We don't have a mining world. There's titanic life. Goodness me, we found traces on this world of massive, gigantic titanic life. The life forms of this planet are built on a massive scale and can be incredibly dangerous even, even without meaning any harm. Well, I'm going to end the vote for Tech Ascendancy there. We're going to have a vote on what this new world should be. And Tech Ascendancy won as that first perk. 2215. Uh, we've now made leaps and bounds in our technological progress already with the discoveries we made after leaving the home world. We are going to commission a new admiral as well to lead a new fleet. This will be Admiral Fred Phillips. He is in charge of the the third fleet, a full of Miami class torpedo attack craft. Send a spy. Where, send a spy where? To the Inac. Yes, we should send a spy to the Inac. It's very true. We must know more about them. We must know more about them. New colony is not going to be boy stopless. I refuse. Violence at first contact. A vessel we had sent to investigate the Nephilim was destroyed in 2216 by a violent assault by their forces. It is unclear whether they sought to capture our vas vessel or whether they simply sought to give us the message to keep away from their territory. Goodness gracious me. This is all heating up around the Nephilim. Who did we lose? I think we lost a, con we lost a construction ship. Let's 
Uh, we're gonna we, we might we're gonna bring a hangar bay online in the Sirius system, I think. First contact war, right? That's it. We're we're gonna go go forwards. Yes, that's very true. We're gonna deploy the uh, we're gonna deploy the Greetings, the, the second sir. fleet. Sorry, we are we're in a state of emergency. We appear to be fighting now on behalf of the hegemony. Um, we've just had some of our vessels destroyed at the extreme ends of our of of hegemony uh, space. Oh no! Maybe some comedy can cheer them up. Um, uh, pardon? Maybe some comedy will lighten the mood. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Morale. What? Comedy. Morale. Good. Does this uh, resonate with your species intellectual capabilities? I'm not sure. We could try some comedy for a moment, but but be warned, we are busy with other matters. The defense of the of the uh, of the hegemony comes first. That is true. That is true. But I think I can contribute here with some comedy. Yeah. I am useful. To this uh this hedge me <laughs> come on let's let's hear it let's hear it then Are we... okay 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 you don't have all so, day what do crows and tables have in common crows and tables i, I don't know yes edgar Allan poe wrote on both of them oh no oh, oh. No? this is um this is an insult this I is another insult uh what you uh, Okay, well, good luck. Um, praise Bell Moss and all. Your species is particularly vile, ugly, bag of mostly. How that's, dare you, sir? That's not what we meant. That's just the joke. You know, your species isn't. Oh, it's, it's fine. Anyway, yeah. Praise Bell Boss. Good luck with your war. Um, I hope it goes really well. <laughs> How did you learn about Edgar Allan Poe? Are you, what are you doing on our worlds? We've not released that information to public consumption. He's gone. Darn it. So, um, well, there we are. There, there we are. EP3 is doing some brain damage to us. Mandra, man, Mandragora. What are we going to specialize Mandragora as? Uh, fortress, possibly. It could be near the enemy. Yes, let's survey this unknown structure. The the first fleet is deploying, led by uh, Jalaya Bakir. Fortress could be tech. Mandragora is in the Sirius system. It's just here. So Sol, Philomir, uh, Philom Philomir system, Alpha Centauri, and Sirius. Mandragora is there. We will teach these Xenos the meaning of fear. And I'll also add industrial. Okay, these are good options. Some aerostat colonies have been found uh, out in Hello. out here in Neshmet. Hello, we've just engaged and uh, won our first great victory against the evil interlopers, and we're going to be. Uh, we're going to continue with that. Hello, what can I do for, the, for the great uh, DM today? Just to remind you um, that, that you have name lists to pull from for the fleets. For the oh, for the fleets. Oh, I yes, do, don't I? I? Sorry. Oh. So in, that is the um, well, this, that one's going to stay the first fleet because I've already mentioned it so much. This one is going to be the Periclean expedition, apparently, and uh, and I'll rename in future when necessary. Good point. Thank you, DJ. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, he's gone already. Well, there we are. Praise Bellboss. Bellboss needs to know. Well, we, we haven't actually hello met there. them yet. Oh, hello. Hello. I would like to inform you that due to, um, uh, obviously, the passage of time, our contract has run out. And I would like to inform you of this and consider this to be a notification on that regard. Would you like to reinstate the contract and continue onwards with this trade deal that we had I in think, the past? I think we're too poor. What would you need? We need consumer goods, and we have alloys to trade. I see. Um, how many consumer goods would you need? Well, we're losing about seven or eight per month at the moment. So, 
more would be good. Um, let me get back to you. You have alloys extra, correct? You mentioned. We've, yeah, we're making some alloys. We're making a lovely surplus of alloys. They are needed for the fleet, but some can be turned over to for, for other uses. Yes. I see. I see. Um, let me have a quick discussion uh, internally with my shareholders, and I will see what I can do. Fantastic. Cool. Thank you. And we're engaging them again. We're engaging again here. We've uh, we've taken out another another um, enemy outpost. We are going to bring up the Periclean expedition just to occupy uh, Ferre there, I think. More DACA class is required. Yeah, do we, yeah, edict fund. We'll go for the edict fund. Why not? And here we have established communications with the Rahetan entity. All righty, let's take a look. They are some sort of hive mind. Okay. Do not believe your attempt to steal our data went unnoticed, human. The collective consciousness sees all. It's in 2218. We have dedicated a portion of our consciousness to watching for your future misdeeds. We shall properly greet you in battle or you will come to see things our way in the end. They will come to see the art things our way in the end, right? We're going to inform the hegemony immediately. Hi, the oh. hegemony here. Fantastic. Uh, sir. We are always we... watching. Good. We've um, we've uncovered baddies. We don't know. We've uncovered something. We've baddies? uncovered... Why do you assume that... They, 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 they attacked us. They have killed our scientists. Um, we, we don't know their intent. They, they're an unfathomable race. Please who are send very over different the data to us. on the species to us. Um, yeah. Uh, just looking. Uh, do what you will. These are not children of ours. They are not. So they are, they they go against the protocols. Is what I'm hearing here. Yeah. No, so they do is... not go against the protocol. They are simply not children of ours. They are not our concern. They're not our concern. Right. All righty. All right. Well, chat, what do we want to do? Right, we're going to go with Tech World for that second world, thanks to the vote. Proxima Centauri B. For as long as we humans have been able to look to the stars for new homes, Proxima Centauri B has been a naive dream, a place we would look to with optimism and new hope. Sadly, as our telescopes got better, we realized that the entire planet would probably be a tidally locked frozen hellscape, a theory which we have confirmed today. There is hope, however, this world has all the building blocks necessary for a habitable planet. It might just need a slight push. Another exoplanet added to our growing list. I think on Earth we are going to need... Uh, yeah, we're going to need more consumer goods momentarily. And we're also going to do it. We're going to find out what on earth is going on with these awful people. In fact, I think it's time we change to a belligerent stance to, max, to match that of our enemies. Oh, our neighbors. Sorry. <clears throat> Preemptive there. The hegemony needs stronger leadership. War first, then war again. Sorry. <laughs> so we, we're not having enough war. Well, game now, we might not be able to afford it, but the satrapy, the, the council of the satrap has voted. It is becoming a tech world. I Vote again if that's not what you want. How are we doing here, though? We're at, we've at 20 espionage. All right. All right. A hive time to harvest the sweet, sweet honey. Big rocket, make planet spin, then we live on it. Planetary engineering division. <laughs> is that Belbus leader getting older? Yeah, I believe he is. He is uh, 53 now. 
warlike industrialist and an eye for talent. Byzantine bureaucracy and feudal society. Overlords of many nations, though we are now militarily equivalent to the overlord, apparently. We are doing our duty as the hegemony. And we need another fleet name. He, actually, no, that fleet can match up with the Periclean expedition. Oh, no, that's a fleet of that. That can go with these fellas. Yeah. Probably time to upgrade as well. Monty. Yeah, let's Yes, hello. 20 espionage. Pardon? Did you reach 20 espionage? I did reach 20 espionage on the hegemony. Excellent. You've not found out much, but you keep coming across a phrase. What's the phrase? The purge of Pythria. The purge of Pythria? Right. Okay. And this is 2219 and we're finding out that we're hearing a phrase, the purge of Pythria. Okay. Good to know. We're also at 25 espionage on the Inac. Does that... He's gone. We lost him. Never mind. I hoped, I hoped against hope we'd get something. Praise Belboss. We need more consumer goods. We will get more consumer goods. Never ye worry, ladies and gentlemen. We probably need more minerals as well. Like, we're having some mineral problems too. <laughs> Sprint. It's a nice portrait I've got. Well, thank you. It's my... It's my it's, uh, we've got a better camera so you can see me better. What's my opinion on the Bell Boss releasing... Uh, going against their scripts and releasing restrictions on their children early? Well, you know... We, the human race, are clearly, obviously, slightly in favor of, 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 of increased, re reduced restrictions. But we do follow the opinions of our satrap, Jeffrey Hammond, very closely. Very closely, indeed. That's an upgrade to the first fleet has been done. We've encountered more aliens. Goodness gracious. And we are getting an election. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know who you want to vote for. So, um... We can actually afford to do it. Or do you actually... So, one, two, three. We're not going to take Julia. Of course, it's... No, that couldn't work. Couldn't possibly work. Um, but... Do we influence this election or do we let the gods decide? That's uh, so we've got f uh, three options. One, two, or three. Of course, Julia Dietrich, we'd never let that kind of person in. Oh, we've got, I'm gonna, we're, you've got literally seconds before I'm gonna cast the vote here, people. Literally seconds. Vote in now. 59 votes. It's about to go to abstain. I'm currently abstain is in the lead. Unless one of the others does get into the lead, then I will, um, Fred Phillips, 2022. It looks like... Okay, so I'll end the poll there. Gods decide one, and the gods decided Jeffrey comes back. We found the Matok civilization. Interesting. In 2220, above the world of Othana, in the Othana system, we found an Iron Age level civilization. There it is. Interesting. Praise Belbos. Um, in our internal satrapy election... We've brought back our most beloved, uh, beloved leader. We are always what? Sorry, what? Who said that? We are always what? That's good. We weren't, we weren't clicking on anything wrong. Our we, children. We, doing... we, we, are, we love being children. We're good. You have we're found good. one of our children. We are entrusting them to your care. Uh, who? Who? primitives you have discovered on Othana 3 they are the children of Belbos well in, in that case the Matok will will be brought into the uh, into the fold no, sir. no no they are not ready to be welcomed ah okay but we are entrusting them to your care look after them okay okay gotcha So we're not, we're not purging the primitives, apparently, under the apparent instructions of the hegemony. Right. Yeah, 
this all looks pretty okay otherwise though let's reduce farmer numbers we're going to deficit on that for a little bit sell some alloys because we don't need all that many and now we will take another planet let me check have we got another submission that fits could we have another continental world here Aeropagus, fair enough. Aeropagus. Areopagus, there we go. There we are. Order 66. Hello Should there. Be... Hello, hello, well, uh, welcome back. Uh, we had a little bit of an internal discussion regarding your consumer goods situation. I believe your consumer goods are currently coming in at a need of eight per month. Is that correct? Um, our need is currently at around 20 per month. Around 20, I see, I yeah. see. Yeah. We've got lots and lots of alloys for 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 for, for swap. Um, I see, I see. Uh, currently, due to budgetary constraints as well as the uh, rollover of the new fiscal year, uh, we can afford eight consumer goods for you a month. Uh, however, that does come at a cost of uh, ten alloys in return. That sounds very reasonable. I think it, it, so. We're going to get more than, than than we give. That sounds that's what that's what what we're hearing here. Send the paperwork over. I'm sure it'll be perfect. That, but we, as long as we get the consumer goods we need. You are precious to me, and we love you for taking our business on. You are the kind of people that keep the snails with a roof over their heads by doing business. Praise Bell Boss. Praise Bell Boss. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Well, it looks like our, our mighty friends, our mighty friends here, Imperial Razax Estate, have completely solved our consumer goods crisis. The Earth was about to run into a, a crisis of consumer goods, but luckily, thank goodness, it won't be the case. Uh, Commissar Ed B there said, Refiel, refute Bell Boss. Yep, he's the one. Quick, quick, Commissar, get him. Let me see what else. Let's build a civilian industries on Sol, I think. That should be helpful. Well, we're getting lots of researchers. Titanic lifeforms are producing some research, apparently. Is it time to study them? Probably not yet. There is a research base available, though. Let's take a look at the research base, and then we'll go and complete some other anomalies. We've taken Magam, that's going to be helpful. Let's throw a mining station down, and then we'll try and take this place. And of course, we should close our borders to the Rehetan. 20 intel is not that much. We probably need more. Let's possibly get some assets over here. What do we need for assets? 30 infiltration. Then we can start getting some assets in the hegemony. Um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the Satchby doing this. This is the, uh, the Admiralty. This is the Navy doing that, of course. The Navy do need to know. We need to have current, up-to-date information on all of our potential friends. And it's almost that time again. We are having going to have a fantastic Victory Day celebration. This year, we're going to have it over Earth. Let's go and uh, have that in. Sorry, it's two years' time it'll be, won't it? But uh, happy Victory Day, everybody. For the glory of Belboss, am I right? Yeah! Breaking news. Studies prove that the new Jeff pads are not being as successful as econ economics previously taught. You have taught. shame to Bell Boss. Pa what? 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 Pardon? You have brought shame to Bell Boss. Uh, that doesn't... I'm... You dare to plan parades when you have failed in such a simple instruction. Uh, we haven't... How, how, sorry. Um, how have we failed? But we charged you with the care of our children. We are going to care for them. What? What? what and what, yet, possibly? right now, oh. our children no. are in the hands of another. We don't know what you're talking about. 
Um, we, we're on the way. We promised. I, I think I think you're mis misinformed. We, we, we're getting there. We're, we'll be there very soon. We see everything. Ah, uh, okay. Please send your admirals to the capital for punishment. Okay. Does that mean they're? Uh, do I dismiss them? So dismiss your admirals at this point. Oh, Fred Phillips and Jalaya Bakir. Do they? Do they ever come back from the capital? No, they're executed. Oh, good lord! Right. It is good. broadcast to the entire satrapy. Fair enough. That's, um... Well, I have to pay respects to the admirals, folks. Yikes! Guess that's what happens when you don't win an election. I didn't read your breaking news. Sorry, what did you... I did read your breaking news, didn't I? That's a strong leadership. Praise the Bell Boss. You should sabotage a star base of Bell Boss. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to build up a spy network inside them. I mean, they've killed our admirals. We've got to know more about it. Fred died. Bell Boss lied. <laughs> Fred died. Bell Boss lied. Now calm down, ladies and gentlemen of, of, of the satrapy. You are not admirals. You are safe. It is... It's me that might die if this continues to go wrong because I am the, the the you know the high admiral. Um, oops. But otherwise, let's see what's going on. Fred died, Belbus lied. Fred died, Belbus lied. Stop this, stop this, ladies and gentlemen, please. Please, that 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 has no place in this court. I, I want to assure you that it is not necessary. That kind of that kind of language is not T and Ort. What have we seen here? We've codenamed them the bogies. They appear to be bogies congregating around some sort of mass. I wonder what we're going to find out in 2104 about this place. We need more, uh... Well, we'll get to T and Ort very soon. Very soon indeed. The Grave Keepers. Displace the Grave Keepers without harming them or Tianki make easy prey. Eliminate them. Um, do we eliminate or unharm? I mean, we need to send the fleet up this way anyway, apparently, to deal with whatever's gone on. Hello, you admirals. Hello. I think I actually, I think I need to talk to DJ about this. Uh, can I actually go to DJ and talk to him directly? Or yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we've been doing that. Okay. Yeah, also yeah. on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, GB has okay, been cool. DMing on stream, so just go for it. It's all cool. Apparently, we're going to lure. Apparently, we're luring. That's what that's what the poll is voted for, ladies and gentlemen. And thus, we shall do it. Oh, we need a construction ship over there. Right. Let you know, we're doing our break now. Uh, we're doing it in... We're doing it right now? Yeah, let's do it now. now. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I expect okay. to go, so... Yeah, uh, sure. Okay. Put his little into bed, so we are calling the break now. Alrighty. Right, well, we'll be back with you, ladies and gentlemen, in about 10 to 13 minutes. Um...
but so we're going to have a little break. We will speak to you all very soon. In the meantime, please enjoy this imperial propaganda. Uh, brought to you directly from the Empire itself. The Ministry of Timelines bears no official responsibility for the content of this research. This artifact was extracted directly from the Belbos timeline. We place its origin shortly after the invasion of Great Nest during the Belbos occupation of Earth. It represents a key piece in the puzzle of understanding the political atmosphere of Earth at the end of the 22nd century. prepares. All of Earth alters its pattern of life and work to meet the demand for protection. Industry is at double step to supply the sinews of safety. The armaments of war an embattled galaxy must have if our hegemony is to survive. Mechanical genius joins with a muscle of millions of humans working to win for the ways of family and freedom. Freedom from thinking. To grow, live, and plan with one's fellow man under the loving embrace of Belbos. Earth's vast resources are harnessed to the job of being the hegemony's arsenal for this and other satrapies. A present day production of armaments is but a mere fraction of the great job that lies ahead. The flow of production in Sol Shipyard gains speed. Vessels of all types, corvettes, destroyers, troop transports, slip off the ways in growing numbers. And the beat of feet sounds over the land, feet intent on training, on growing fit for whatever destiny holds ahead. Heroes every one, heroes by the million. Men who abandoned home and locations that they may be ready to defend Belbos if necessary. To give their lives if necessary. For the safety and security of all. Sturdy of body, firm in spirit, pilots, spacemen and marines. A huge voluntary army joins in this great defense program. No problem that may arise will find these men and women wanting. Heroes like these cannot be stopped. No individual nor evasive words or deeds. No group action or selfish interests will be allowed to impede their growing strength, effectiveness and safety. For it is they who are sacrificing every advantage of civilian life. They who hold the torch of Belbos closest. Every division of the Army, Navy, and Marine Corps is rapidly instructed in the modern methods of defense and of offense. All of Earth is behind these armaments, supplying an uninterrupted flow of materials or machines of Imperial might. Earth's army takes to the air while more and more darker class destroyers roll off the assembly lines of our mighty factories. Our growing space armada stands ready, guided by pilots second to none. Men training with starships, with cannon, laser, and nuclear fire. Intrepid heroes learning every formation, learning to keep the skies above Earth free. Long before any foreign nation utilized orbital drop insertion as a practical form of warfare, Earth's Marines have perfected this means of offense and of defense. First, the equipment of vehicles and accessories are thrown safely to the planet below. Then the men pile on. There is a whirlwind descent, then a tug, thrusters fire that glide the men to safety. The Sol Satrapy's newest triple threat, its Miami-class torpedo squadron. AU a minute craft designed for starbase protection. The Ministry of Timelines bears no official responsibility for the content of this research. This artifact was extracted directly from the Belbos timeline. We place its origin shortly after the invasion of Great Nest during the Belbos occupation of Earth. It represents a key piece in the puzzle of understanding the political atmosphere of Earth 
at the end of the 22nd century. Earth prepares. All of Earth alters its pattern of life and work to meet the demand for protection. Industry is at double step to supply the sinews of safety. The armaments of war an embattled galaxy must have if our hegemony is to survive. Mechanical genius joins with a muscle of millions of humans working to win for the ways of family and freedom. Freedom from thinking. To grow, live, and plan with one's fellow man under the loving embrace of Belbos. Earth's vast resources are harnessed to the job of being the hegemony's arsenal for this and other satrapies. A present day production of armaments is but a mere fraction of the great job that lies ahead. The flow of production in Sol Shipyard gains speed. Vessels of all types, corvettes, destroyers, troop transports, slip off the ways in growing numbers. And the beat of feet sounds over the land, feet intent on training, on growing fit for whatever destiny holds ahead. Heroes every one, heroes by the million. Men who abandoned home and locations that they may be ready to defend Belbos if necessary. To give their lives if necessary. For the safety and security of all. Sturdy of body, firm in spirit, pilots, spacemen and marines. A huge voluntary army joins in this great defense program. No problem that may arise will find these men and women wanting. Heroes like these cannot be stopped. No individual nor evasive words or deeds. No group action or selfish interests will be allowed to impede their growing strength, effectiveness and safety. For it is they who are sacrificing every advantage of civilian life. They who hold the torch of Belbos closest. Every division of the Army, Navy, and Marine Corps is rapidly instructed in the modern methods of defense and of offense. All of Earth is behind these armaments, supplying an uninterrupted flow of materials or machines of Imperial might. Earth's army takes to the air while more and more darker class destroyers roll off the assembly lines of our mighty factories. Our growing space armada stands ready, guided by pilots second to none. Men training with starships, with cannon, laser, and nuclear fire. Intrepid heroes learning every formation, learning to keep the skies above Earth free. Long before any foreign nation utilized orbital drop insertion as a practical form of warfare, Earth's Marines have perfected this means of offense and of defense. First, the equipment of vehicles and accessories are thrown safely to the planet below. Then the men pile on. There is a whirlwind descent, then a tug, thrusters fire that glide the men to safety. The Sol Satrapy's newest triple threat, its Miami-class torpedo squadron. AU a minute craft designed for starbase protection, interstellar patrol, and hit and run attacks. Each manned by a picked crew of 900, they carry 400 nuclear fusion warheads and a twin kinetic driver battery. Before the skyline of Lagos, they paint a threatening picture for those who would dare to attempt invasion of our worlds and of our hegemony. But the fleet is the total hitting might of the Sol Satrapy Navy. Darker class destroyers, gigantic floating fortresses designed to carry massive guns and deliver their unharnessed fire in defense of Belbos and her children. Earth's court arms directs a unified planetary navy. When Mother Earth calls, will you answer? Join the navy today. Praise Belbos.
This concludes this ancillary document from the Belbos timeline. Please refer to the main body of this report for further details on the Belbos timeline. The Ministry of Timelines bears no official responsibility for the content of this research. This artifact was extracted directly from the Belbos timeline. We place its origin shortly after the invasion of Great Nest during the Belbos occupation of Earth. It represents a key piece in the puzzle of understanding the political atmosphere of Earth at the end of the 22nd century. Earth prepares. All of Earth alters its pattern of life and work to meet the demand for protection. Industry is at double step to supply the sinews of safety. The armaments of war an embattled galaxy must have if our hegemony is to survive. Mechanical genius joins with a muscle of millions of humans working to win for the ways of family and freedom. Freedom from thinking to grow, live, and plan with one's fellow man under the loving embrace of Belbos. Earth's vast resources are harnessed to the job of being the hegemony's arsenal for this and other satrapies. A present day production of armaments is but a mere fraction of the great job that lies ahead. Well, let's break from that very important imperial propaganda to uh, bring, ladies and gentlemen, bring you where we are in the galaxy right now. Uh, welcome back. Um, there, there seem to be a few technical issues there with our fantastic uh, Imperial News outlets. Um, there were some uh, un un unlicensed imagery did find its way onto the screens. And I have to apologize deeply on behalf of the, uh, the network executives that allowed that to happen. Um, we, 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 we won't let a mistake like that happen again. I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen of the... Of the of the satrapy court. Um, yeah, we haven't just fired the technical support. We've literally fired them. We we shot them out of a cannon. Let's see the hive mind here to our south. They did start a first contact uh, aggression with us. They murdered one of our vessels, and we have retaliated in response. But our current uh, apparent issue is that the planet of Othana 3 that did have premises on seems to have some sort of political uprising has happened there or something. We will have to further investigate that under the, uh, under the auspicious directive of the Belbos people themselves. Charm said, long live the AFF. That, that one there, Commissar. Quick, get him. Otherwise, we are, of course, as Navy Intelligence, oh, we could we could now acquire an asset. Well, we'll do that. We'll do that in just a moment, I believe. We'll do that to the Bell Boss themselves. Yes. How's the migration packs coming along? Right, we're losing pops and not gaining that. I think we need to cancel this migration pack with the Bell Boss. It doesn't really seem to be helping an awful lot. Yes. Do we cancel the migration pact? We're going to have to put that as a vote for the satrapy. The poll is live right now, ladies and gentlemen. Um... So yeah, let's uh, let's uh, go 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 go. Also, if you um, have any planet names, leader names, fleet names, ship names, and you're uh, the right tier tier in the Patreons or met channel members, you should go and submit something. Uh, I'll update the lists, and you might find your way into the game imminently with your submission, of course. How will we import our escargot without this migration pack? Well, no, this is a migration pack with the hegemony of Belbos themselves. And currently we're, we're actually losing population members. It's not a great deal. In this humble uh, person's own opinion.
Let's also look at these anomalies. Around Magam 2, we have weak signals. All right. Greetings, great soul uh, military c trippy. Greetings, you. Seems your communication devices are muted. Oh, are they? Unless you're not too Greetings, good. greetings, you. Yes, yeah, sorry, they greetings. were. Apparently they were. Yes, uh, we do have uh, another joke for you. Hopefully this can really cement our two empires. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. what do you call a battlefield where human admirals led their fleets to inglorious defeat leading to their summary execution by Belboss superiors? Uh, um, a feast for the crows. We're here all week. We really are. Because apparently <sighs> the species really likes like current things. Um, current, you know, jokes. Yeah, uh, yeah. bye. Right, uh, th that, that, um, let's see. So we'll do that. That sounds like a good deal for us. Then we can buy more minerals. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, uh, around Philarmir uh, at 1A, we found uh, very little remainder of the First League research base they were sent to investigate, but judging by its isolated location, we suspect that the research conducted there was a da of dangerous nature, possibly involving dimensional travel or advanced bioweapons. A recovered data disk from the Academy of Sciences has offered some insights into the, how the scientific community of the First League was organized. Very interesting. We also now can celebrate diversity. Don't mind if we do. Have a little celebration of our diversity. Uh, but also, I think that they need to pay for the. They need to. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna send. Uh, we're gonna send a quick demand their way. See what happens. We will be placing the lure to get the away, get the Tianki away from whatever this is here. We're not really sure in Tion Ort. See how many we've got five of those. One of five. Clear the clear, clear the jungles, yes. Good. They have now paid for their transgressions. Fantastic. Thank you very much to the Inac Research Satrapy. Right, we'll end the migration pact as well. I mean it's costing us influence. There we are. Make it so. And then at this point, we should now begin acquisition of an asset. Yes, we will find out what's what's rotten in the hegemony of Belbos. Mark my words, ladies and gentlemen. Imperial, uh, imp that's not Imperial, uh, Sol Satrapy forces are slowly investigating. Uh, pop out another city district on Sol. Such audacity. Bel Belva saved us from this corrupt leadership. Look, they killed two of my finest admirals. We're just going to have a little investigation. So, so if something like this happens again, we won't be caught unawares, you know? Let's do this one, the creeps. Let's find out who the creeps are. They've apparently taken something. Uh, we'll have to let this go down for a little while, I suppose. In the meantime... Blue lasers, yeah. It's more laser weaponry could be useful. Oh, it's we apparently would have a net loss from hunting. Okay. On in T and Ort 22-23. Do we Oh we uh issue special project Yankee Law. We already did that. Oh, it's happened again. Well <laughs> we'll double project it, apparently. Uh, I'm thinking mineral purification. We need the minerals. Let's figure out what's going on. How are we doing as well, chat? 
The crows support Fred. Wait, Fred? Fred? Stop, stop this. Fred, 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 Fred. Um, we, 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 yes. I mean, Fred's a problem. Ooh. Do we, we need those minerals, don't we? Yes, I think, I think we, oh, actually. Do we return them for the influence? Wreckage. We need the influence somewhat, but do we need the minerals? A brief reminder, we see it all. Good. That's very good. We we, we, we love your, your site. Oh, holy lord, they're not even here anymore. I'm just talking to thin air, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. Talking to thin air. It's creepy how they do that. Very creepy, if you ask me. Do we have FTL inhibitors? Do we do we already have that? I don't remember getting that. Yes, we do have FTL inhibition. A colossal rock collided there. Let's look at that. Right. Apparently we are returning it for the influence. We will not risk an altercation. With the You have voted satraps. Or members of the satrapy, uh, satrap council. In the meantime, we must push forwards and expand a little more. You know, I think we should send some science ships out to do some diplomatic reconnaissance. We need to find a direct path to the hegemony, just so as to get there in case we're needed to defend them, of course, of course. Little Goblin Boy says, Fred would have served the Belboss. Stop this nonsense. Belboss have only helped us. And of course, the, 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 the hegemony of the people of Belboss do love us. And we get a favor from them. And plus 20 attitude. We will use that very wisely indeed. Mm -mm -mm. And we discovered in 2223 on Dath Dathana 1, a massive crater appears to be the result of a collision from a starship. It hit at maximum velocity 10,000 years ago. Very scary stuff. Uh, hello, PM here. Hi. What's your espionage level on the... Uh, 30. At uh, 30 at the 30. moment. Sorry, I'm, here. I'm at 30. Right, okay. So at this point, uh, you and your uh, chat have a decision to make. Yes. Would you like to investigate further on the purge of Pythria? Or would you prefer to try and dig into the history of Sol? We will ask. I'll know the answer, so don't worry about it. Oh, but... okay. Yeah, because I'll, 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 I'll watch straight. You watch so the chat. Cool. The, well, well, the yeah, chat's yeah, up. Yeah. We're gonna we'll leave it up for one minute, sixty seconds, sixty of your Earth seconds. Vote immediately, and uh, and then make your will known. We'll see where the insights lead, as well. <clears throat> cough, cough. Oh, we're getting unwavering insight. Oh crap! Is he is he still here? Are the bubbles listening? Good, they're not listening. Great. Um, so, auxiliary insight. Uh, the hegemony of Belbos. Our operatives, 22, 24, February-ish, have applied themselves with unusual fervor upon learning that their once intangible suspicions were founded in a real cause after all. Wow, but reports the supply has made... Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Um, I recently uh, had a uh, information trickle through to me. Yes. And maybe you'd be interested in finding about um, being interested in one of our subscription packages regarding information that is going on within the hegemony or particular empires in uh, that you uh, may be We're a particular in. empire. We would be very interested. How much do we, how much is it going to set us back? Uh, right now, we are looking at about 10 alloys a month for a minimum of 10 years. However, every five years, it will be updated with information regarding other empires within the sector. Yes, uh, we're specifically interested in the Inak. They are troublesome individuals that I have see, continued I to see. thwart us. 
I see. Um, well, if you're interested in the uh, subscription packet, we already have the first issue on the Enac Empire ready and ready to be deployed. Or feel free to send us a um, uh, the service the service charge of ten alloys per month over a period of ten years. And of course, automatic renewal is a, is a case here. Thank you very much. There it is. All right. Um, so they are very firmly aware that uh, there are certain planets within your space that you may have been rummaging around in. And uh, they may know that uh, about the original inhabitants of those planets. Right. They know those two okay. worlds okay. that you have okay. within your space, yes. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we have additional information available on them as well, uh, specifically regarding their ethics, their rulers, their civics, uh, numbers of origin, uh, relics uh, owned, whatever governors they have available, and that sort of information. If you're interested in this type of information, feel free to let us know, and we may be able to... Is that um, an additional charge in this package? No, that, or, that comes that, as part of the, the subscription, but uh, okay. that will be part of the second issue that will be coming in your general direction. Well, we look forward to more issues. This is uh, right. a great, great, uh, yeah, great package. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Then uh, we'll talk to you soon. And remember, it is a rolling subscription. And uh, unless you say that it will count, uh, unless you want it cancelled, it will roll over. I am legally required to tell you this information up front, and other information will be pending. All right. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end that poll now. We did run over a bit, but it seems 52% to 48%. Purge of Pythria is the um, is the answer. We want we want we want info on the Purge of Pythria. Darn it! Let me go find. Please inform ah. me when you've reached uh, forty. Uh, I will your, probably yeah. for a while, but we want info on the Purge yeah, yeah, of no. Pythria. Yeah. Oh, that's it. I, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't get you don't get anything yet. You've just oh, started oh. your investigation. Oh, I see, I see. That makes sense. That does make sense, I suppose. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing yet, but something soon? Question mark. But I need to know about Florida. Remember old Earth. We must find out the secrets of these elusive aliens. They are apparently hostile to our very intent and nature. Right, we are going to be... Uh... We're going to be helping the people of Athana 3, I believe. There seems to be something going on here. Some sort of uh, issue. Did we, we know we were losing stuff from the immigration pack. That's why we cancelled it. It sucked. Should we attempt to live on one of these other worlds that are not massively friendly to our species? Possibly an alpine. I mean, should we go for one of the... Should we start trying to live on some of the non-ideal planets, ladies and gentlemen? Please let me know your thoughts in the chat. Fred did not die, but I mean, Fred did die, but Belbos have not lied. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. I've just looked at some of the events recorded. Somebody's recorded. An event as Montu got insulted by E330. Funniest poop I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful stuff. We see everything. Ah, what is there to see, my lord? Uh, we have seen the rise in your society of the phrase, Fred died, a bell boss lied. Th 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 we th hereby th decree that the punishment for uttering such a phrase is to have a digit removed from your left hand. In 2225. Thank you, my lord. P praise Bell Boss. Oh, we are, we are bringing... Oh, they've gone already. Well, um... Greetings, Earth! 
Greetings. We come with a proposal, but first we'll open up with a joke to lighten the mood. Oh. What do you call? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a parrot with a centipede? Brontorox. A walkie talkie. <sighs> but on a more serious note, um, we've noticed that your people may or may not have some planets that are inhabitable to you. We're uninhabitable. Offering... Or inhabitable. Yes. Oh, uninhabitable. uninhabitable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I believe a migration treaty between us would be very beneficial to the both of us. Well, we, um, we we cannot engage in any treaties until you give up the information you are f coveting about the nature of Alpha Centauri Five and Philomir Four, the two tomb worlds in our space that you clearly have knowledge on. We actually haven't a clue. This this. Those are systems this is, you're lying to us. Charts, so you you can, are lying to us. We can share our sensor arrays. We don't. We, we, you, we should, don't. you should. You should say, share your sensor arrays immediately for the for the with us for the uh, for the safety of your nation. But other than mm. that, you're mm. you're liars. I mean, if you want us to study it, we can use our very very smart scientists to study what has happened on those planets. But we currently have no idea where those systems even are. I. Uh, this is this is clearly 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 um, inact propaganda. It's propaganda. We just wanted to spread our technology across the hedge from me. So, would you like the migration tree? <laughs> It'd be very, 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 very beneficial to us and you, of course. Um. All right. All right. We'll we'll accept a migration treaty on the on the condition that you form a research agreement with us to provide your superior technological might. Yeah, we we can agree to that as long as. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, I hope our our birds offer you many jokes. We we'll send the agreements now. I hope to see see them accepted. I just and, uh, I do have to no put Tom this. Fumbry. There is of course the uh, the matter of putting this before the court of the satrap. You know, I am only the the grand admiral. Yes, of course, of course. So, I mean, so, I wouldn't so, have well, gone yeah. come to you without getting their blessing but um if they've got other other uh... well they're currently it's currently being voted on at the moment um so i, I can tell you that at the moment it's uh, it's they're currently in favor of it 57 percent to 43 but that is only with a fraction of the total vote uh, having been no. cast in the court so um we do love democracy don't we and actually you know it's looks like it's going through 124 votes yeah it's going through okay Great. Yeah, well, we're accepting. Apparently. I thank thank you. Uh, accepted. Twenty two, twenty six, February. This is this marks a great day for Bellboss. Praise Bay Bellboss. Praise Bellboss. Hopefully not on the battlefield. The creeps but... have just taken one of our vessels. Oh. Deploy the fleet immediately. I believe. Sorry. Uh, can you uh, leave our communications channels at once? Um, we're deploying the fleet immediately. Do not worry, ladies and gentlemen. For the for the safety and security of all, what have we got? The per Periclean expedition led by uh, led by Guy Gangi, and the first fleet led by Palash Nayak. And actually, we should change our war philosophy, at the, uh, war doctrine at this point. Yeah, we'll stay at rapid deployment. Actually, that's good. Here we go. Hello. We are going to avenge those deaths. Oh, hello. Um, this is an update on your subscription package regarding yes. the uh, the NX research satrapy. There seems to be uh, a bit of an issue with the le pre the previous edition. They 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 claimed not to know the, the worlds existed, um, which uh, clearly they were lying. Do you have any more information on that? Uh, not that specific topic, but I do have information about their ship layouts and systems that they use on their um, defense systems. That would be very okay, yes. We'll we'll take. I mean, we'll take that in order to help them. Of course. Um, I will fax you the details directly, uh, straight to your inbox. And you fa should fax. have a we, uh, but fax, fax machines. Yes. Yeah, but we, they, uh, yes. We'll just get one running immediately. Um, yeah. All right. Then uh, allow me to um, set this one up here. Give me one moment. And uh, the information is being uh, sent straight through uh, ShroudNet Technologies into your brain. Fantastic! Fantastic! Bye. Let me bye just thanks. grab that. Uh, yeah, we're getting it through now. Let me just—I'll just show it off to uh, the, the the rest of the council. They can have a nice little look at it. And uh, here it is. 
Interesting, interesting stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So it looks like they've got crap. They have crap. There is obviously, clearly, we need to uh, protect them. Clearly. I'm just here for the information gathering uh, information. Uh, if there's any, anything in addition, in addition that you would like to know, feel free to uh, bring us in the next issue. We'll be on their way soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, a league prison complex. Yes, we'll have a look at that. I've got a poll up. I can't remember what for. We'll be fine. A poll. I never need. Never tell me the polls. Oh, let's colonize a tundra world then with some Brontorok. We have New Canada. It's going to be a Brontorok colony in our space. Can we trust the Brontorok though? Only time will tell. Stop this nonsense about the, the AAF. There's no need. There's absolutely no need. How are we doing here for armies, though? They have 45. Yeah, okay. So we can sit here. Good. Let's recruit a general. Drav. Um, actually, no. We, we, I think we want the disrestrained. Yes. Yuto Abe will be a liberation force. Oh, sorry, there's the image of the Corvette still there. My bad, my bad, ladies and gentlemen. Boop. It's gone now. Thank you. Uh, we finally discovered the great Telforth Empire, but they've... Oh, they've sent us away. Respect our authority. Right. Let us make a claim. This system is clearly... Uh, clearly, it should be, belong to the humans. Anything else would be paramount insanity. We've met the Tronzaro Continuum in 2227. Cooperation will surely benefit us all. There seems to be some sort of war going on at the moment, fighting an unknown alien. Let's take a look at that. Yes, please. How long are the military fleets going to be until they come back? 22, 27, 12. Oh, so long. Let's design some new destroyers. These can be the... The Luanda class. Yes, we're going to design some lovely Luanda class destroyers. We're going to give them picket weapon slots and a large artillery bow. We'll throw a blue laser on. Yes, laser destroyers. Armed and protecting the nation of the soul. Military satrapy. Our, archaeolog our archaeological mission on Monarchidea 5A has uncovered evidence of what appears to be a failed escape attempt some distance south of the prison complex. A toppled utility vehicle from the prison was found behind a small cliff, and several kilometers beyond that, the reins of several prisoners in stolen pressure suits were huddled together. They seem to have died of asphyxiation when the oxygen supply in their suits ran out. For whatever reason, the prison authorities evidently saw no reason to collect the bodies. Goodness gracious, that doesn't sound so fun. Uh, what should... Oh, yeah, Arapagus. What should we do with Arapagus? Greetings. Greetings. Sorry, interruption. Um, we have some good news, but of course, we open with a joke. Break okay. the ice. What do you yeah. call... A de-feathered failure. I don't know. What do you call a de-feathered failure? A human! <laughs> oh. Um, so yes, anyway. We have, um, on, on our own volition, of course, we have named our second colony after you, the leader. Hammond's Hammock is our, is our second colony, the great Hammond's Hammock. Right. This is this is because you obviously came and gave us so much protection. You enlightened us, and um, that that is very reasonable. We are we are we'd the like soul to we pay tribute to you. Um, I hope we can continue to get on. And um, yes, praise Belboss. Praise Belboss indeed. What a lovely day. 
Indeed. There seem to be some sort of observation post in the Okul system. What are, what's going on here? Have our fleets returned? No, we have no return of the fleets. Right, we're currently completely defenseless. I'm going to push out some Luanda class attack, uh, Luanda class uh, picket artillery. Of course, we'll get some more Daka as uh, darker class, not Daka. Let's get more Luandas. Yes. What did human philosopher Diogenes call a plucked chicken? I don't know, Jared Pierce. What did he? Observation posts. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Akul 3 in the Akul system. They have advanced into the equivalent of an Iron Age and are divided into numerous petty kingdoms and empires. Right. What do they look like? Ah, the Minarians on Akul 3 in 2227. Interesting, interesting. Uh, we should liberate them. They seem to be... Yeah, they seem to be under some sort of uh, alien empire that do seem to have be at war with these folks. Couldn't imagine anything could go southwards with this, though. Let me see. Let's throw down a mineral purification plant. Excellent. Most excellent. Um, I'm thinking this world here, Arapagus, could be a consumer world, a factory world. Should we go for that, folks? Ed B, you find yourself in contempt of this court. How dare you? Well, this, the Rehattans do seem to be pathetic in comparison to us, as well as these folks. We have no idea on the Great Telforth, but I think we must go forth as one to bring down this apparent threat. We have, we have knocked them, their ships from the sky once before. I believe we can indeed do it again. The press is free. The press is indeed very free. There's no need to talk about all this press freedom stuff. We're, we're yeah. very, very happy. Hello? Hello. We see everything. Uh, what's, what's, what's happened? Have you failed us again? Where? No. Our children. Which ones? They've been invaded. Which which ones? On Altharia 3? Altharia 3? Yes. They were already invaded. We, we're going to liberate them imminently. You have failed us again. Does that mean I have to send them my admirals for some reason? Their experiment is over. Should we not free them? They, oh, they, they're around. They've got, they're, I mean, they're not, they're not doing, they're, they're, they're doing a bit poorly their, in terms of indentured servitude. Their experiment has been ruined. What, what is, what is thy bidding, my master? What about, what, the, what does the we hegemony no command? Care. We no longer care. Do with them what you will. Well, in that case, I mean, we might as well leave it, leave them to it. We have met the Neuter Archivists. We could have, we have, could have much to gain from this encounter. Where are the Neuter Archivists? Down south over here. Ah, okay. We have uh, met another empire. Where do they fall into the plan of the hegemony, I need to ask? Um, what empire have you met? The, the Nuta Archivists. What, what, what part of the plan might they fall inside of? Um, they, they are long off. Sort our records. Fantastic. Well, it looks like we might have some more people to save. Remember, folks, loose lips sink ships.
So Hello. we need our records. Yes. And um, last time we encountered this species, they were a type of lichen. And that's a problem? Uh, we don't care. Just they're, they're not ours. We shall not. Um, we shall not. We shall not. We shall not parlay with them then, if that is the wish of Belbos at the moment. We shall do nothing. All right, let's grab some sort of gas refineries, I suppose. This is looking good, though. Um, I think it's time, ladies and gentlemen. Given that the Rehatan entity, they don't care. I think, I think, you know, these people have threatened us for far too long. Far too long, indeed. What are our factions like at the moment? I mean, these names, uh, these names are not the correct names, but um, we seem to have quite a few factions in... Uh, in oh, the, the, sorry, these are the names in the hegemony. There's the Xeno Aid Council. That's called uh, the Military Industrial Complex and the Institute of Technologies. I need new names for factions, people, because I don't want the generic ones. Come on, give me some new names. And we've also met these folks with the weird heads. We are still acquiring more assets. Good. Don't really want a migration treaty. Which faction is the AAF? Is it these guys? The, the Xeno A cancel should be the AAF? Uh... The military should be three fingers. All right. Yeah, I like that one. The three fingers. The three fingers. We may, might change the name a little bit there, I think. But Admiralty for militarist. Three fingers. AF. I guess this will be the AAF then. The Xeno A Council could be the AAF. And the Institute of Technologists. I need a name for the Institute of Technologists. Oh, no, not that one. Oh, the Three Fingers Society, that could help. We don't have a xenophobe faction at the moment, unfortunately, or fortunately. Yes, it is the anti-alien front, so I guess this will be the, um... Well, I mean, we'll check, we'll, we'll workshop this, but at the moment I'm going Peace Corps supporters. Hello. I just Hello. wanted to jump in and uh, explain a little bit from an RP perspective here. Oh, yeah. Um, so at the moment, you can see there's no xenophobe faction. And whilst clearly the feeling inside the court of the satrap is starting to turn, within the general public, the hegemony's propaganda reigns supreme. So okay. whilst this may be um, within these... the elite, this may are... be something that's brewing. So it's these not factions... a general movement yet. Are these factions um, the factions inside? So are these factions currently the factions inside the court of the satrap? Or are they the wider factions in society? They're the wider factions in they society. They are. So Three Fingers Society yeah. is not the right name here then. This is the, um, this is, uh, this is the Navy. Uh... Uh, uh, Garak to Deloy, uh, and if I've killed your name there, I really am sorry. Yep. But yes, I agree. Um, that is entirely accurate. It was uh, partly anti-alien from the start. What was partly anti-alien? The mood of the satrapy, like the the court. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um. Oh, sorry. The navy should be the, no. The navy should be the admiralty. I'm being told. That's that. Yeah. That, yeah. I suppose. Um. I'm just looking for. A name for the Institute of Technologists and Peace Corps supporters. I don't think they should be the Peace Corps. I mean, the Peace Corps supporters does does no, work. No, just I Peace suppose. Corps. Oh yeah, this is the Peace Corps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, this is yeah, the Peace Corps. The don't forget, police. just joining the Peace Corps is easy. Yeah, right? it's easy. It's forty-two percent. Uh, Sixty-five. Uh, what is it? 
42% support. Also, the Institute of Technology is apparently 41% support. Yeah. This doesn't make sense. The numbers here are a bit balked. 41%, but it's 16 citizens. 42%, but it's 33 citizens. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting stuff. There's some massage numbers. Uh, I Institute assume of that's because if you work... It depends on the version of democracy they use, genuinely. If... Um, oh, yeah. They use, yeah. If they use a, a second choice system, you know? Where you get yep. more than one Second vote, and if you're one, it, yeah, 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 right. that works. That works nicely. Um, we've also had some carnival protesters breaking out on Earth at this point in 2230. I assume this is nothing to worry about. This could not have nothing to do with the AAF. I would, I would assume, but we will get to the bottom of this. How very interesting! Loud and frivolous protests, apparently. But in the meantime, I'd like you to know that we are well on the way to um, eliminating the threat. The evil Rehetan entity clearly posed to the hegemony. He's not here, is he? The oh, he's here. The entity, you claim they pose a threat, do you? Well, they keep, they keep, they've, they have, they have, they've destroyed our ships. They have threatened us. They've insulted us. They've declared us their rivals in, in all things. And we don't, we simply can't understand them. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, the, the, the court of the satrap here seems to be turning towards shooting at them, if nothing else. I mean, don't let us stop you. If I even spell my own... Let's throw a poll up then. We're going to vote on it. The Manifesti. The Earth, the protests on Earth have ceased. Almost suddenly as they began, rumors called about, called about their origins, but many whispers speak of a group called the Manifesti. Arrest these so-called artists. This is clearly the work of AAF propagandists. Are the Lycians, as fellow star explorers, we salute them. We could go and visit their star here, Sedona. Oh, we're stuck. Yeah, we'll run away then. Run away. 18, there is an overwhelming internal support for a military occupation of Rehetan space. In that case, I will do my utmost as your admiral to ensure a swift and human victory. Praise Balbos, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've claimed about as much as we can there. Let's hope that is an end to such nonsense on Earth. Yes, indeed. fix all of our economy briefly and then we'll just charge straight at the wall. We didn't get told to remove our leaders, did we? I don't remember that. I think we're fine. I think Guy Gain and Palash Nayak have not actually been sent for summary punishment. We've now met in the Marakian Republic and the Farine Blessed Imperium. What on earth are they? Oh, some sort of divine empire. Here's the Marakian Republic. A moral democracy. 2230. Somewhere around then. Praise Belbos indeed. We get to they get to live. In that case, we're gonna get a new admiral for this war. Patrick's no, we're not getting Patrick, we're getting Julia Gibbons. And this fleet is called. The Royal Maiden Fleet. Named after some sort of queen, I assume. One would hope. Montu DM here. Yeah. Just to make sure <coughs> you haven't met them yet, have you? Who? 
N um, the, uh, I've met the Lycian Utopia just a moment ago. No, they're a Megacore style people. Have you met them yet? No, no, I haven't met any Megacores. I met. Okay, cool. Yeah, no worries. No, from a DM perspective. No. I was just making sure. Yeah, fair enough. Mysteriousness. A comet has been sighted. It is a good omen for this war, right? We'll end the. We have voted. Now we will march to war. We'll have a humiliate war. Why not? Forwards. Praise Balbos to war. Right, I think, given that the Brontorok are researchers, let's make this into a research world too. One would hope. I see. Let's start with them doing a bit of uh, autocathoning. Why not? We have engaged the enemy here. Uh, uh, the the first fleet to engage is the Perclean, Perclean expedition, led, of course, by our brilliant Miami-class corvettes. But swiftly behind them is the Royal Maiden fleet and the first fleet. Uh, first fleet of Palish Nyak, and we are in the Ferre system. That looks to be a crushing victory for us. We have lost. We have lost one corvette. Not the end of the world. We can recover from that. J Jaden, try join the EPO. Support the Earth Protocols organization for a better bell boss, a human bell boss. Give us your three-fingered salute. I, I apologize. What? I I that seems to have been a miscommunication there. I, I have to assume. I uh, I am very sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for having uh, brought to you the wrong information from our esteemed uh, protocols. Oh, you know what I should do? I should uh, research these anomalies and then start excavating some stuff. And we've engaged now in Toropia. Again, our, missile, our, our uh, nuclear missiles lead the charge. Victory again. Let's move to Kondara now. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Not just by yourselves. Not just by yourselves. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses. Mega, make Earth great again. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> How's this one doing? This seems fine. We can put a uh, little luxury resonance down there, I think. That should be all right. Buy some more minerals too. Why not? There are virtual entertainment studios set up on Earth. It's interesting holding from the Imperial Razak's estate. Good stuff. Manifesti Joy still seems to be lingering. And now we're engaging in the Kondara system. Praise Bell Boss. Looks like we're going to have another stunning victory. Yeah, there we are. Let's see. Can I claim Nigerio? No. Oh, well. Found encryption key to the Belbos people in 2232. A particularly observant operative in the hegemony of Belbos has laid their hands on a part of the hegemony... Uh, Hegemony of Belbos encryption key. It would seem a careless Igarian politician mislaid the device while commuting. This bodes well enough for our operations in the Hegemony of Belbos, but our study of the device's unique design has Greetings revealed novel insights. Hello. What can we, we do for them. your despicable people? Of we are fighting for the open. glory of the Hegemony right now. Oh, great. So your soldiers probably want some, some comedy, I've heard. 
it helps. Um, yeah, so what do you call a subject who closes their borders without their overlord's permission? I don't know what. A bird brain. <laughs> a bird brain. Oh um, yeah, so uh, we've got word from uh, Bell Boss. If you don't open your, bo uh, your borders immediately, um, they will take action. I think you'll find that the Bell Boss people would never countenance such a decree to our uh, people. I've had word from up top. Well, we'll uh, we'll put it to the vote. We see everything. Spell boss I hear nothing. Not be happy. What's that? We're just uh, requesting confirmation, not just from Bellboss, but from uh, from the satrapy themselves. Hello. Hello. We're just uh, we're just voting. Um, Open your borders to your siblings. Uh, I'm, the, 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 we're getting a no from the satrapy. I, I don't care. Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah, well, I guess the satrap has to bow this time to the hegemony's wishes. But we're not going to forget, are we? Hello there. Hello. Uh, as you could see, uh, our your subscription on the information for on the Inac Research Satrapy has run out. Would you like to renew? Oh, absolutely. Um, could we spend minerals this time? Uh, sadly, we only take uh, consumer goods. Um, okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, we can do alloys. Up... Sorry, alloys in this particular case. Oh, that's, good. We can... that's fine. I Because could... I can't really... Consumer goods, we're, uh, we're at minus a lot. Um, constantly. Uh, but yes, I mean, I think we want to... Let me just check in with my... Uh... No, I don't need to check with the satrapy. Of course, the, the satrap would say yes. Let's. Uh, set, if you send the agreement, we will, of course, do the renewal. Could you of go? course. Uh, allow me to send over the uh, the deal over here. Give me one second. Uh, would you like to extend the deal in this particular case? Instead yeah, yeah, we're going to of... extend the same deal as before, right? We want to extend, don't we? Yes, but would you like to do it for ten years, twenty years, thirty years? Uh, well, I mean, 10 years is probably plenty, isn't it? Oh. Oh. You have a deal? That that was 10 alloys again, right? The same price as before, wasn't it? No, it increased in price. Oh, it went up. Oh, is that inflation? Yeah, inflation, that happens, yes. I've heard. Yes. Yeah, so we, yeah, had a, we have a 12% inflation within our empire this year, and sadly, we need to, you know, offset these okay. things. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, praise Bellboss. Uh, and we, and this obviously immediately starts your first uh, information gathering yes. situation on information on the uh, what is going on. Uh, in case you were not entirely aware, the NX res uh, research. Hello. Oh, sorry. My apologies. Sorry, I lost you for a moment. Yeah, no. It, it looks like we had a little bit of a hiccup on the uh, on the shroud uh, call there. Uh, it looks like. It looks like uh, our good friends of the Enax Research Satrapy are currently have uh, several planets in their empire, one of which which is referred to as the human cage on a tomb world. Sorry, what? Yes, that's all I can they, tell you at this moment which, in time. What, what? Uh, this is currently in the Suf system. Uh, obviously, this information uh, you did not the receive. The Suf system. Yes, we this information you did not... This information you did not retrieve from me, sharing sharing that I, you got this information through me to a third party will immediately void our contract and no no additional information will henceforward come forward in this particular case. All right. Yeah. Thank All you. All right. Have a good one. Thank you very, thank you very much. I, I, what, what what do we do about that, Satrap uh, court, court Courtiers? Um, that's very shocking. Should we... I think the first thing we need to do right now... Well, they're already at residence. That's fine. We can't purge them. Um, is that maybe we could do something with the Brontorock? We have our own tomb world. We could put one of the Brontorock on a tomb world as well. Let's do that. We'll show them. Do we have it? We have a migration treaty. Yeah, we do. We do have a migration treaty.
So, um, indentured servants, mate. I, I mean, we can't... Unfortunately, we are xenophilic, so we cannot actually set them as slaves. That would go against everything the protocols would teach us. Though we can put them to work on Firamir 4, size 13 tomb world. I think that could be the best option here. Yes, we will create the Brontorok prison world. That will clearly show them our resolve. Which cannot be underestimated. How do we save... I mean, first we must know about them. I've, I've sent, I've sent uh, envoys to find out more about what's happening there. So we will we'll get on it lickety-split, so to speak. But in the meantime, we're going to create our own version of a prison world. They'll be sorry. First among siblings. Yes, we are first among siblings. How dare they think they can do this to us? Do I have any more armies? No, just six. Is that even enough to take Rahatan? Prison world named Escargo and Garlic. They aren't snails. Sorry, no, there's then there's not the snails. It's um they're not snails, it's uh they're Brontorox, they're birds. They're bird people. And we put them on a lovely tundra world here. They should be very happy with that. There's a fleet behind me, Montu. What? No, there's a fleet. That's fine. That's fine. Not to worry about it. We're invading now the planet of Appropriation Yig 2223. This is, of course, all at the behest of the satrapy for the glory of Belboss. Praise Belboss. There's some sort of research project to be done here. We've got both uh, translating of an alien mural happening. And, of course, there's some sort of egg-like thing we could uh, crack open and take a little look around. No, we don't want a commercial pack. Then go away. I hate them. Right, let's bomb... We'll bomb, we'll bomb these Rehetten into the ground. I mean, they, they've, they've attacked us. They've encroached on our space. They've insulted us. They aren't even anything like us. They're literally un, un, they're unintelligible. insanity us, it would be. The new archivists want to establish an embassy. Let's say hello. Greetings, new to archivists. Uh, far off people in a far off world. Um, what what can we do for you? You've uh, asked to establish an embassy, and of course, we might communicate, but we know little. Greetings, humans. We would just like to learn more about you. Well, we're we're proud people, um, and we also are. The, we are the shield of the hegemony, and uh, you know, you have no place in that plan. So do stay away. But otherwise. Um, it's nice to meet you, nice-sounding alien fish shrimp we, thing. We would like to propose a cultural exchange, if you would be willing. A, a cultural exchange? What kind of cultural exchange? Some of your people visit us. Some of our people visit you. We, I think we'd very much love, we'd love a cultural exchange. That could be nice. Oh, a, a, a free, open cultural exchange. I will have to put that past... Um, I'll have to put that past the... Uh, past the satrap but i think i think i think a relationship between our two peoples could be a fantastic idea uh, of course to help both of our people uh just waiting on the vote let's see the way it goes yeah 80 percent. yes cool it's happening we see everything uh, 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 no 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 phew we got out of there quick eh oh 
That could have gone the wrong way, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we just got the big alien mural. You can jump back to that pause from just a moment ago to see what it did. There's another... Uh, we've got another Bell asset on Bell Boss in 2234 now. Meaning really our... Oh, hello. Ass. <laughs> no. No, not at all. There was a communications issue, I believe. Child, listen. You will be free to make your own decision in this situation. But we will judge you. Um, well, we, we wouldn't want to upset the hegemony, of course. We, we, we're simply... They, they have no place in the protocol. A, a cultural exchange could be beneficial to all our peoples. Um, right? Uh, I'm speaking to no one again, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, I'm speaking to no one. I'm not entirely sure anymore. This, uh, this whole praise bell boss... Yeah, we're getting, uh, oof. I mean, praise Bellboss. Praise Bellboss indeed. My highest praise. I salute them. Let's take a look at Razak. We can't look at Razak's. All right. How are we doing with the Bellboss people? 50. Can we see any of their planets yet? Bellboss 3. The holy capital aches. No, we can't see it. Meh. Meh. Hang on. DM here. What was the level of your espionage at? Uh, my, oh, my intel is at 50, but my infiltration network's only at 30. I do have three. If you wait another three years or so, or four, three or four years, I'll probably get to um, 55 relatively soon. I've got three, uh, what they call No, I'll take 50. No, no you're good. Oh, Intel, Intel's good enough. Cool, I've got 50 yeah, Intel. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, your questing for information on the purge of Pythria has turned up the following information. Uh, there was once a sixth satrapy. Yeah. And the sixth satrapy uh, refused to behave. Oh. And went against their parents' wishes again and again mm -hmm. and again. Not like we wouldn't do that, though, would we? And uh, in retribution, their world was destroyed. By. Not. But by, by, by the hegemony. Bells. By Bellboss. All oh, right. They wiped the planet clear of life. Oh, yeah, that's um, aggressive. They hunted them down to the last man. Well, um... And, and something I want to make clear here, and this mm -hmm. is something that's noted by your your people who are, uh, like, um, doing a report on this. Yeah. Yeah. Is that once the decision had been made to abandon the experiment, they stopped looking at them as living beings and they were just things. There, there was a notable change in the way that the reports were written, everything like that, all the historical documents. There is a notable change. They stopped viewing them as people. Right. That's not particularly pleasant. No, no, it's not. There you go. Well, thank you. Um, that's an interesting report about the uh, the uh, the the Pith Pithria Pithria. Let's see what uh, Pithria. Yes. All right. Well, um, I'm sure there can't be any problems with our current somewhat aggressive mood towards the parents. Cough. I'm sure it's fine. Cough. I mean, we. I don't think we want to die, though, folks. Let's. Uh, oh, we've engaged. We've engaged in the Mugi system. This is quite a large engagement. Two of our fleets are fighting. Two of theirs. This is the. Uh, which fleet is this? Corvette. 
Resolute Throng? No, that's this individual Corvette names. It seems to be quite a bloody battle. The bloodiest engagement so far in this war. They've caught us right at the edge of the system as we jumped in. But it does look like our fleets are pulling ahead, even if we've lose, lost a couple of um, a couple of Miami-class Corvettes. Let's take a look. Yes, we did lose a Miami-class Corvette, but we inflicted five whole ship losses to the enemy. That's something. Let's see if we can bring a, uh, we need a scientist up here. Three assets is good. We can spend... Oh, we did spend the unity, didn't we? Yeah, we're, we're going to finish off Substitute very soon. We're engaging again. Beggar, this is some, some easy victories now, it seems. Have another colonist job in that could probably that that'll solve that problem. Yep, We're making a healthy number of alloys now. It should all be very good. Let me see what else do we want to do. Ooh, let's grab coil guns finally. <laughs> How much further do we need to go? I mean, do we push this all the way to humiliating them or do we just settle with status quo and 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 knock a big chunk out of this foreign occup occupying empire that has clearly, uh, you know, thwarted us at every turn here? Don't know who those are. Could be the enemy. Have we got enough intel yet with these folks? No, still not enough. Where are we at, though? 44 of 80. Okay, yeah, okay. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. And our forces are moving forwards on all fronts. It's glorious, really. We came, we saw, we conquered. I've not occupied a claimed planet. Really? Hello there. Hello. It's time for your subscription update. Yes, 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 please. Okay. Um, I will send you the following information. Stand by. There you go. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's... Right. So, um... I'm just going to have to share this with the court. Uh, we have a slight issue. The uh, the military capabilities of the, the Bronterok seems to have advanced dramatically since we last... Uh, since we were last involved there. They've now got tier 3... Kinetic weapons, tier three lasers, and we are cut like our equivalent. The equivalent here for us is the darker class, and that has tier two lasers, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Oh. We are. We on the other hand, yes. We on the other hand are very, very upset about the. Uh, the prison world they're putting our population on, and we are struggling to figure out, uh, other than we have, of course, interred 
the um, the Brontorok people, the people of Inak, on our own prison colonies, on our own prison colony, in, in retribution for what they've done. But we are a little um, unsure about what measures we can take. Is there anything you could do on our behalf if we were to uh, grease the wheels of motion, so to speak? What did you have in mind? Well, I, 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 what, what might be? I mean, could you? Could, could are they? Are they taking any trade with you? Could we? Uh, could we pay more to stop it? Um, at the moment, uh, they are getting. Uh, they are giving us ten consumer goods per month. Yeah. Uh, we'd be willing to offset that for fifteen consumer goods per month. Yeah. We will we'll put that up if that as long as it diminishes their stuff. We uh, let me see let me see fifteen per month. Uh, apparently I can only do six. Give me a bear with me. All right, uh, I will have to go back to my office. But yep. uh, my people will talk to your people and we'll get something rolling. We'll try and work it out because I refuse to let them win the uh, the trade living standards war. Of course, of course. We'll talk to you soon. Let's see, residents living standards. Right, they're going to go down to basic subsistence. This will show them. They're not allowed to serve in the military. They're, of course, ex exempt. And uh, Arapagus, where, no, where is it? New Canada, of course, should be a human-only world. And that's what we're going to do to it. We're going to move a human there who's going to oversee the colonist stuff. Yeah, Polysmus great. Also, Galactic Omelette. Oh, the Numenistic Order, great. Galactic Omelette. So, we opened up one of these rocks, and inside was not what we expected. Instead of there was some, instead of some infant Titanic life form, we simply uncovered genetic slop. Very strange stuff. Now we've met Transstellar Mega Corporation. I believe we could have much to gain from this encounter. Inside the Astro Vault, we find rare crystal mining. Interesting. Opening the vault raises some questions. This Astro Vault is in the Avexa system, right on the border of Hegemony Space. Is there anything we can use that for, though? I'm not sure. I still have a picture in the middle of my screen. Oh, goodness me. Sorry about that. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Boop. Gone now. <laughs> ah, uh, uh, yeah. Hello? Um, so, uh, with everything that's been going on, I believe you missed this, so I'm going to read it out to you. Uh, yep. Investigations into the late Admiral Fred find many inconsistencies in his assets. Sources say Admiral Fred was an EPO member and was funding the illegal AAFF. Does the oh goodness support the AAF slash EPO? Uh, and I... that was from, uh, let me get the name right, um, Jadon Schroer. Uh, and if I've butchered your name, I apologize profusely, but they donated $9.99 with that. So, uh, Ah, I didn't see. Sorry, I was... Uh... Realized in all of the the stuff, um, and I wanted it pulled up. Yeah, that's um, were they a member of the? Uh, we've also got a new party has formed, the Conclave of Exalted Clergy is what they're calling themselves. Um, I think they have another well, that's name. The Church possibly. of Fred. This is the Church of Fred. All right. Ch Church of Fred and Juliana, right? Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. The Church of Fred and Juliana. They're very unhappy with the way we're running things. Twenty-four percent approval. Yeesh. Well, that sounds about right, to be perfectly accurate. Yeah. 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 I don't know how we can uh, fix this internal political issue, but we'll figure it out sometime. Um... Uh, Jess Blues, put it up in the Discord, in the timeline section. Oh, we got propaganda. Mm. I right, will go and look. I don't know if it's there yet. You might it, need to link the Discord um... again. Is it? Oh, I'll, I'll link the Discord now. People can go and have a look and have a chat in the Discord while we're going. Bear with me there. Yeah. Uh, confused I do it. Let me just do an invite. Uh, Discord link is coming very so shortly, Jess Blues. There you are. Uh, jump on in and uh, 
Enjoy yourselves. I, I found I, I've seen some more propaganda in there. I assume that's not what you mean. The uh, the... the the rather wonderful uh, three finger salute. Yep. Oh no, oh no, that is actually. Let me just. I have to show that to the. We're getting. Yep. We're getting something's breaking in over the top of my uh, my communications at the moment here, folks. What is it? Well, there we are. Um, apparently, there's some sort of anti Belbos sentiment. I can't understand it personally myself, but uh, there we are. Oh, this is the issue, right? Let's bring, let's bring the navy. Let's bring one of the fleets to come back and deal with that. The Shapa Synergetics, interesting, interesting stuff. Oh, our lead scientist on physics research at the age of 87 has died. Natural causes? I think not. It probably was, though. Yeah, let's assume it was. I hope it was. If it wasn't, then that's sad. Replaced with Chaisuku Onowao Tuegu. Yes. Do we agree to the um, embassy uh, request from the INAC? Hi, Wojcik. We're actually playing the uh, Sol Military Satrapy. Led by Satrap Joffrey Hammond. There's a whole bunch of lore behind this as well. You might want to go check it out. What's going on here? Oh, it timed out. They broke their research agreement. And they broke their migration treaty. I see. This is clearly the insidious work of these awful aliens. We'll need another fleet to deal with this. Eh, we don't need to review orbital debris. We'll be fine. Let me also check. What's oh my on gosh! Yeah. Quickly look in timelines, Denver. Just give me a moment. I just need to move all of the Brontorok to their new prison world. Yeah. Uh, where is it? I've lost it. Oh my lord. Yeah. Yeah, I was just seeing How that. good is that? <laughs> uh, we're getting another another communication breakthrough coming through just as we speak, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, it's too big. It's too big. Too powerful. It's too powerful. Overwhelming our network. I think it's the right size. It's really big. Huh? There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yep, that's uh, that's coming through on the band. <laughs> uh, we've apparently been implicated in a plot against the Imperial Razak's estate. So vague is the allegation that we cannot definitively state whether or not they are, are onto something. Our own spies protest that the allegation is baseless, claiming that it is likely either a defensive counter-espionage response from one of our targets or else a smear campaign being conducted by some third party. Whatever the reason or cause, the Imperial Razak estate have taken offense. Goodness gracious. And we're also having an election. We are basically going to leave this up to the fate of the gods, I think, because we don't have the time. When's it coming through? In seven months. Fate of the gods or not. Somebody has actually... Sorry, there is someone in your chat whose username is now AAF. <laughs> Their plan is apparently working. Um, I think we're going to abstain from this election. Because I've not seen anyone particularly... Ah, and the abstention has gone through. We've re-elected Jeffrey Hammond, apparently. Fantastic. Uh, what level is that at? This is the INAC, and they're almost at level 60. And just if you give it nine days, now I'm at infiltration 60. We're about to uh, What about uh, do the nothing. Bell Boss? Uh, the Bell Boss, yes. Let me check them. They're at 55 now. Uh, so I'm going to do another asset thing.
Can you uh, let me know when you get to 60? Yes, I can, yeah. Right, I'll leave you be. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now arming privateers inside of Inax space. Their wanton aggression before cannot glance. What is this? Tarkadal has just imploded. The tectonically unstable homeworld of the Lycians has finally exploded. Its eventual destruction has been predicted by the Lycian Utopia. Despite this knowledge, they apparently made no significant efforts to evacuate the, evacuate the planet aside from a few scattered survivors in space. Their entire civilization perished along with their homeworld. And they're gone. They're completely gone. And with that, we've also simultaneously won the war against the Rehetan entity. Well, let's take a look at the space we've now taken. Filled with undesirable could. Um, we do have a number of worlds, though. Demolish these unused buildings. Let's see, a tropical world. So we do have a few ruler class pops on here. knock it down to size a little bit that should be a little better we don't need all of this let me also throw up an autocathon monument transstellar just subjugated the rehetan entity so now on our borders we have the rehetan under the auspicious rule of transstellar We have completed our second uh, tradition, though, so we do have a pick to make. Veni Vidi Vici, victory day. When was the victory as well? Somebody remind, somebody tell me when the victory was when we actually got it pop up. I was, I didn't actually look at the time, but if you roll back, you should see the date it popped up. It's a lot of energy that we're losing. We have received death, received news about the ongoing, the ongoing chaos on Ikes. Following the, following the sudden death of Shaddam the Sixth, the unpopular Roderick has taken the throne for herself with the help of the military, much to the charred grin of her siblings and the people of Ikes. After the troublesome rise of Roderick, many have started questioning the right of the hegemony of Belbus to have dominion over us. If they cannot keep their capital peaceful, what do they hope to possibly have to keep? What do they hope? What hope do they possibly have to keep the rest of us safe? Empress Roderick the First has risen. 2701-2241. We're having a new victory day, ladies and gentlemen. It is on the 27th of the 1st. That is our oh. new victory day parade. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Um, it would appear that um, some new information has become available. Um, the uh, other empire within the galaxy has already um, uh, increased their technology even more. So just be oh, aware no. of that. Um, fantastic. That, well, not really, but but thank you. I was uh, I, I think that this is information that you felt would be relevant, but thank you for taking the time. Long live Roderick! Apparently, yes. All hail Roderick, first of her name, Empress Roderick the First, destroyer-focused world shaper. They're now absolutely overwhelming to us militarily as well. That's not good. So, uh, that's interesting. Yes. What, what? Which, which, which one am I not seeing now? The instability in Belbos. Yes, yes. Um, what's going on? Anything to report back to us, uh, noble peasants? Uh, no, everything is perfectly fine. Um, perfectly fine. How are you? But Shaddam the Fourth, Shaddam the Sixth, uh, is dead. Our great beloved emperor is dead. Uh, long live the queen, I say. Empress Roderick the right. First. She has yes. a nice coat. I, I hail, hail the queen, Empress. Yes. See. Um, the 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 Trans Transaru continue have come to us demanding inoculations. Is this anything DM related as well? 
at the end. Uh, of the no, year. you can do oh, whatever you want now. Fantastic. Let the sat trap right. decide. Uh, we have food shortages across our empire at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. That is a problem, but we'll fix it imminently. I think that should help a bit. And that. We still have the solar panel network. That's naughty. I'll get rid of it. Make the Brontorox into food. Um, we can make them work food worker jobs. Let's uh, create a new sector, the Rehetan sector. We'll hire Lan Pan to head that up. Maybe it's time for the Empress will be the last. That event can fire badly. Can I also activate Fortify the Border? Probably. Yeah, that... Oh, no, actually, that we're quite over our usage. Uh, not really. We'll have to just live with that. Um, let's see. Yes. Um, for our hello, hello. humans. Hello. Did, uh, did you lose something? Ma yes? No? What, what oh, might we have lost? Unsure. I don't think we've lost anything. We've... Uh, 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 what, what might we have lost? Oh, well, we'll look into it ourselves and get back to you. Good, good, fair enough. <laughs> Benign inoculations. The inoculation is given to us by the ancient caretakers have proven of immense benefit. Reducing illness and increasing the life expectancy of our population, the initial mistrust among our people about the mandatory procedure has receded and everyone is enjoying a healthier, happier life. Wow, praise Belboss for this boon. We will make sure to get some... Whoa. Greetings. Whoa. 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 The, uh... Oh, dear. Uh, oh. Th well, there we are, I think. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the, oh, the portugal! Oh, my god! Oh, my lord. <laughs> this is what uh, humans do, by the way. Uh, Monty's chat. Look at this portugal. That's what... That happens when you that's disgusting assassinate a certain emperor apparently um you done what no that's what you've done apparently that's my uh, information and also that tomb world which tomb world you know the one with my people on well let's that's just uh, uh, sorry no 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 you. um uh that, that get out get away that's not to, that is uh that is an internment camp for the mm, brontorok yes. people that are clearly clearly evil i mean yeah, Wait. well, we did the same for humans. It's funny that we both have done that. Uh, no, no, this is in direct <laughs> response to the human cage. We well, have uh, about the human cage. It's not. We didn't know about any. I don't know what you. We, 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 we yeah. are yeah. our knowledge. You know, you should, you should check on, you should check on the, the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the, 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 the navy disposition of your people. I mean, you might have some trade-related issues very imminently. Um. <clears throat> oh, he's gone. He didn't even hear all that. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. What what do we do now? I think we're meeting up in general to work out if we've achieved any of our objectives. Cool. Thank you. I'll see you there. Fantastic. I'll see you in general in a moment. I'm just uh, yeah. I'll at DJ. I thought we I thought we had so ladies and gentlemen, I thought we had another 15, 20 years because the Pretender event. But now it seems we uh we might have uh, a broken empire on our hands. But this is going to be concluded. This Hi. will be continued Hi. in the next one. Oh sorry. We're going to go to... I was going to jump over into general now. Yeah, no, no, no. You have one last little bit of, of information that's come out. Right. In the collapse of the Empire, you have discovered one final piece of information. Yeah. Um, a word. Nothing more. Lupta. Lupta. Spell L-U-P-T-A. Lupta. All right. And that's like, is that we we found that in archives, or is that is that come through? Like, is that so? What, what? So you you basically this is in a buried report that nobody's looked at for thousands of years, but it has something to do with Earth. You can't work out anything beyond that. All 
All right. All right. All right. Gotcha. Well, I'll join you in general. I'll join everyone in general now. Yeah? We're all ready to join the general? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, cool, let's go. Consumer goods and energy and minerals and stuff. So I could pay you, because you're draining my consumer goods. What's your science income right now? 485. Yeah, your... Oh, that's why all right. is mine Why is mine 441? <laughs> what? I'm giving 200 <laughs> to my to the overlord, though. Mm. I'm at, we're at 260. Like, we're, we're, the human race is having some real science-related issues. Like, I, I literally only have, like... Three additional research labs, and that's it. What? I have like a planet dedicated How did you to have it. Some... Oh, it's my planet, maybe that you're getting quite a decent. Oh no! I, oh, of course, I'm getting all the science from the branch offices because I got the, oh, the research you got the lab on. thing up on the branch offices. Yeah, oh, private research more. enterprises everywhere to get yeah. it. Would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're lucky we didn't play for a few more months because uh, Inact Research Satrapy is going to have a real problem in its empire in a moment. Oh, is it? What, are you going to yeah. come up with an original uh, <laughs> idea? Original it? joke. Original joke. Is that what you can accuse jokes are very joke. Chat, give me a joke quick. Did I did you... have one. It was, uh, where did it go? That border gore is epic. Yeah, it is uh, quite something. It's something else, isn't it? it? That's like, it, it's a painful to see. <laughs> here's, a, here's a good joke for you. When does a human have an original idea? When? When we tell it to them. For the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so, hello everybody. Um, uh, to start with, uh, and I am literally just going to do this alphabetical order, start my way at the top and work my way down. Um, so, Acebeck, did you feel you achieved your uh, session goal for today? Feel free, feel free to tell what my session goal was, and then I can follow up on that. So, Acebeck uh, was one of the people given a non-mechanical session goal. Uh, and you'll find through this series that the session goals will be both mechanical things and non-mechanical. Um, his goal was to get information from either EP3O or um, from Monsu, and then sell it to the other, causing as many problems between the pair of them as humanly possible. Well, the uh, subscription fees uh, that uh, applies to uh, the... The information subscription of the Seoul military we satrapy paid and the so much <laughs> oh my and the subscription oh, fee of the inaugurous <laughs> research satrapy, as well as the various insurance policies and <laughs> other variety of uh, of things that were floating around. What was that thing earlier? Where like I was so bamboozled. I it said, okay, I thought I was like, yeah, okay, the deal was fine. And then suddenly the deal was ending. Like you were requesting minerals. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> That's because they like, scam you as well. Yeah. yeah, he's come the stuff. So whole time. what I what I did was is that um you were start you were gonna give me five consumer goods per month. Yeah. And I was supposed to sell you something minerals, in for return. Something. Minerals per something. month as well. Yeah. yeah. And I just gave you eight. Is that what you did? I didn't yes. even notice. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> I so I thought I thought no, so I thought because originally I thought I'd agreed to four and you'd upped it to five, and I thought that was that was the legal. I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. Um I didn't notice you did it one no, time. He full on, oh, a full on that was a full on got. Yep, yep. Did you do it? To, I noticed one. I did it to you much. as well, but you you caught on to it very quickly. Uh, so. uh, we actually re can read in a. Well, we were busy yeah, fighting in many wars read. in the name of the hegemony of Belbos. Booga, booga, I fight war. Ooh, I can't <laughs> Ooh big so. stick, shiny stick, yum yum. <laughs> <laughs> so, Acebeck. Uh, without revealing anything about your uh, goal, your nation's goal for the overall series, do you think you've progressed towards that? Um, I need... S it's it's going to be a bit difficult. I think it's going to be viable. Uh, it's just I need some more territory, I would say, which as a megacorp is problematic. Um, it is possible in theory, uh, but it has to do with a couple of systems within my empire that I currently don't have access to. So I would say yes, but it's going to take time. Okay, okay. Uh, so going on to EP3O, uh, what was your session goal for today, EP3O? <sighs> So my session goal was to uh, get the flesh is weak, essentially. Yep. And I was so close. I have 21 months left on the project. <laughs> oh, no, hang on. You've started the project. Yes, it's I almost will, done. I will, I will count that as a win. That's fair. 
You've uh, yeah, you succeeded. If you I... started the project, um, I'll count that as. A I got droids two texts ago as well. <laughs> so it was close. There you go. Yeah. Down yeah. to the wire. Uh, yeah, it was. I've I dropped a few hints in chat. I don't know if they knew it, but I basically just bios a week as we've seen by Soul. Uh, yeah, Earth yeah. And all that. Then they need some robot in them. But yeah, we got the Disgusting. ascension pick, and we're doing the project. Okay, so uh, next up, we have uh, Kiva. Hi, Kiva. Hello. Hello. So, did you? Uh, what was your goal for today? Uh, my goal uh, is uh, what for for today was today, to yeah. Up, yeah, not uplift, uh, enlighten two primitive civilizations. And did you succeed? Very much so. Uh, enough yep. so, in fact, that one of them has stopped being a protectorate already. Oh, Scholarium. Wow, okay. Good gosh. Well yeah, done. Okay. okay. And do you think that you, you made progress towards your overall goal? Uh, yes, very much. Um, I think I've even got a pre-cyborg uh, member of EP3O's race. Oh, wow. So, Monte. What? <laughs> so, so Monte. Should we go to Solaris next? Oh uh, yeah, no, we'll come to you last. That's a good idea. Yeah. Solaris, there you go. So Solaris, what was your goal for today? Go, uh, go relic hunting. Pretty much, right? You basically you should have found, and did you find them? You you should have found a bunch of uh, very ruined worlds, right? Yes. And you found them. Yes. So, uh, Solaris's god has been out doing its business, um, and, uh, he, he's found evidence of that. So do you think that you made progress towards your overall goal, though, without revealing what it is, of course? Yes. Yeah? Excellent. Uh, so, Monty? Um, my goal was to... was not that the Sol military satrapy specifically, but the, the Navy's intelligence branch would get ten assets or favors interchangeable so like you know possibly like three favors seven assets i was i was i was halfway there but um i don't even if we'd gone another 10 years i don't think would have made it um i had four assets and one favor from today's goal and that was yeah that was pushing it i mean i i didn't have the resources to throw it do you know how much it is to get a favor these days it's nuts um yeah, they've yeah. Really nerfed it. it's just trade them that's what i've been doing <laughs> Could... <laughs> yes, if only I had the alloys to throw away if they weren't being spent somewhere else. Um, like I'm having, I have dark matter, so. And what? how about your overall goal? Do you feel that you've made any progress towards your overall goal? Um, some. I think there have been some decisions made by the satrapy council that have thwarted the overall. Uh, goal a little bit, but I, it does nothing we can't recorrect. Typical humans. And so the last question for everyone: Have you all enjoyed this? Has it been fun? Yes, this is. Oh, this has been a blast. So good. I've been stirring yeah, shit all day. It's been great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad I can't uh, play the tempo anymore. But I hope more days has a a great time with it. Yes, sorry. So I should mention that. So um. It's kind of a hot seat happening here. So Old Man Mordaith, great content creator, he's going to be taking over from EP3O. And Ambiguous Amphibian, another great content creator, is going to be taking over from Aspec for their respective empires. And due to the fall or the, the breakup of the hegemony of Belboss, some sort of internal civil war, who knows, um, there might be a bit of a shake-up coming for the, uh, for the empires and, and, you know, when they're no longer under the yoke of uh, imperial rule. Let's put it that way. Yes. Um, tune in next time on whatever the show is called. Solaris um, Timelines. Solaris Timelines. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Well done. Oh, it's too easy to insult. Insult you <laughs> And be sure to take good care of yourselves. And of and course, each other. Each other. <laughs> good game, everyone. I'm going to say goodbye to chat and then I'll... Yep, I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah, I'll say goodbye to my chat as well. And I'll chat back here in a moment have a, a post-match confab all righty all righty all righty all righty 
Alrighty, so ladies and gentlemen, um, the next stream will be in exactly three weeks' time. Might be a slight change to the specific time, but it will be on the 15th of October. Then, in between that, there is going to be a video coming out, a Solaris Timelines video, on the history of what we've just seen. Watch out for that because there'll also be a bit of, a bit of, you know, things that'll happen in between now and three weeks time. We're going to have some polls coming up, but there's going to be some voting. There'll be some input from you folks onto the future of the Sol military satrapy. Because I mean, the, the rule of the hegemony is, seems like in a lot of ways it's over. When will you get a video on the session? About two weeks time, roughly, is when the video will be coming out. There'll be some polls before that though. Do not worry, okay, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, until that time, I've been Montu. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this stream. Thank you very, very much for um, for, for for everything, and uh, and and I will I will see you next time, I suppose. <laughs>